All right. Let's go. We're going to go five minutes early today because I'm just sitting here and I'm ready to play. How about you guys? We're going to play, as you can see, some more Entrouded. So thank you for joining me today. If you don't know, although you probably do, my name is Monkey Puzzle and I stream on primarily Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But when I can, I sneak in other days, but try to keep that regular schedule so folks know when to find me. But today is a Sunday, and we have been, this will be our fourth time playing in Shrouded. What's up, Crazy Mom? What's up, Jay? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, and it came out on Wednesday. So, yeah, we're just doing a good initial burst here. And uh, having a lot of fun with it. It's a sweet little game. It's got a sweet little building system, which we're going to play with a lot today, hopefully. I'm going to be kind of getting used to it as I go. I've played a little bit. Hello, Mr. Bum Ruler. You did luck out, joining me just at the right time. Indeed. So thank you all for joining. Whether you're joining live or later, I appreciate you coming through. I'm going to drink a sip of water and we're going to jump on in. So, this is what my character looks like right now. Uh, she's got, uh, we've been moving on up. The armors are a little interesting. That shirt she has on is warrior armor, apparently. <laughs> but it's kind of like a long sleeve cotton shirt or something with uh, just big old shoulder, shoulder guards there. So, whatever. It looks all right. Uh, there's more. There's new ones I want to make that look a little bit better coverage. Um, but we got to get there. We got to get there. Looks like somebody's on. So we got a server for the Iron Geeks. If you want to join us, you just got to become a patron of Arali and I. Links down in the description. Gets it into all our servers. Let's see if I can get this. Boop. Amazing. Yeah, it's a little interesting for a server because uh, the quests are server-based, not player-based. So it takes a little bit of courtesy among the players, not just to do all the quests for everybody, um, but it's been working all right. And your player can jump between servers and single player, no problem. So if you miss something here, you can always do it later. So we got our little base. That's it. We just got this little hump <laughs> and the flame altar right here, which we threw down. This is still in the area that the tutorial as you put it, we started up in that little castle. Up there, we are flameborn, which means we are one of the select few to run around in the post-apocalypse of the Shroud. And that's not the streamer. That is the fog. So, this game has full terraforming. So, you can do stuff like this. And we're going to do stuff even more than this. There's five NPCs which we've gathered and they act basically like crafting stations. So, yeah. You gonna check this out? Uh, Crazy Mom, Bum, anybody else in there? Jay? Uh, it's currently $26.99 on Steam. It's an early access, so there is a lot to come. The map we are playing on right now is apparently only one quarter of the final map and it's huge it's handcrafted really well made i have been really enjoying the exploration part so a lot of good elements you know it's not my perfect forever game um there's a, some things i would do if it was mine but it has a lot of pieces i've been wanting in the game uh namely the terraforming and it's it's voxel based but it doesn't look cubic you've got it you'll join later when, but I'm doing Pal World at the moment. Some IRL friends. Forget that silly game. Come on over here. <laughs> no, a lot of people are enjoying Pal World right now, and I think people should enjoy any games that they're enjoying, for sure. I just, unfortunately, have zero interest in Pal World, and I find it a distraction that is somewhat overshadowing this game in the limelight right now. But that's okay. People like what they like. I'm not very mainstream myself. And Palstream, I think, is, has a lot of mainstream appeal. 
Uh, not that that's bad, but it's just not me. You will later. Just sit, need to save up for a new motherboard and a new CPU. This game is not as bad as some others. It's a lot better than uh, Ark Ascended, that's for sure. Let's sleep a little bit, see if we can speed the night up. Oh, you know what? I just heard the rooster. We rested. We have 18 minutes of rest right now. So there's a bunch of stuff I want to do today. I want to redo my skills. Um, we'll do that in a second. I want to make a few things, but mainly I want to work on the building here. And I want to make our storage system uh, so that you can pull from it anywhere on the base. And there's a couple upgrades I want to do for myself too, like this guy's got this one. He's a crafting advanced glider. Hey, uh, hey, ja. I still catch an eye full of you plummeting on the ground in the distance every once in a while. Yeah, we have a glider right now, but you do kind of drop like a brick. Oh, it doesn't help much as your CPU is down. Oh, yeah, that would be limiting. <laughs> that would definitely be limiting if it doesn't work at all. Uh, no worries. There's no shame in that. But if you want to fly with style, consider crafting a better glider with me. There's stuff for a new glider in the boxes for you. Oh, thank you. What do we need for it? Nothing to discuss now. Uh, gliders. Advanced glider. All right, Linen. Thank you for doing that, Miss Chris. Hey, Sir Garwin. Welcome in. Welcome in indeed. We need some shroud wood. We can just go ahead and pin this. Some string and a shroud sack. <laughs> Sounds terrible, but... Uh, Let's see, where'd you put it? Okay, that's, woo, that is full of lumber. We did a bunch of work, uh, died a bunch of times to get this saw blade. These guys leave all their important items all over the map. And then uh, the scavengers seem to always get a hold of them. And uh, yeah, that place was really overleveled for us. We basically died a bunch of times, kept reviving each other, grabbed the saw blade and ran. <laughs> we did not kill everybody. Indeed. You're missing one shroud sack to have enough for a Raleigh too? Okay, well, let's see what we can do. It was a lot of death. Yeah, it was tough. All right, let me see. Where would that stuff be? Shroud sacks. Uh, where do we keep them? I'm going to make it so that you can pull all this stuff so we're not going to have to be looking through things in the same way anymore. Uh, but we'll get there. Uh, let me see. We do need some string. I see some string down there. Let's grab that. We won't need all of that. Uh, but, you know, we'll just put it back. All right. And then we need the shroud wood. That, I think, was up here. Oh, there's the sex. Boop. And split it. Take it. Pro. So yeah, we'll see how this glider works. One of the things I want to start on is a tower here. There's these towers we can fast travel to that you can fly to everything else on the map. Um, but I want to have one here too. Craft. Nice. Go get him. <laughs> He's got spunk. All right, where's this N? So here is our old glider. There's our new glider. It looks... Uh, a lot more like a glider. The other one looks like a spread out animal. All right, let's put this stuff back. Put the sack in there. And uh, oh, the string. Boop. And I got a few other things. I'm mean, fireflies and flax. Uh, we could put this in with not there, but maybe here. Uh, oh, there's another one right there. Look at that. This Chris has been organizing. Flying squirrel skin. Indeed. Let's see how it goes. No, it's daytime. Here's Raleigh's house. He made himself a mansion. See if we can die using our new thing. Whee! Yeah, that 
that's a bit better. That's a bit better indeed. Doesn't drop quite as much like a brick. You reorganize? Great. I like it. I am not attached to being the organizer. <laughs> My kind of favorite kind of organizing is like, hey, let's go. <laughs> Whee. Yeah, it's a little bit more horizontal. A little, little bit less vertical. Dig it. Make it all the way across now. I like it that there's a good amount of progression in here. Let's see if we can get in some trouble over here. Hi, buddy. Oop. Help if I have my weapon out. I'm trying to. Parry. I want to learn how to parry, man. Yeah. Oh. Push the right buttons, monkey puzzle. There you go. I gotta make a better shield. There's a better shield I can make right now. Even though this is like this legendary shield, it's just as good as the very most basic one. Somebody else who wants to kill me? Oh, come on. I want to fight. Anyway. We'll do a little exploring today. I'm sure there are... Um, ooh, there's a nice chest. Things I'm going to be missing as I go that I'm going to need to go collect. Oh, that's a lousy wand. Let's read that. An old site rediscovered. Too lazy to read it out loud. Oh, and pictures. It's very nice. Those all go into the lore thing. And you could break all this stuff and get more loot, too. But then I'll have to empty it all. <laughs> uh, so I can always read them later. But mainly we're just trying out the new glider right now. But yeah, let's go make another shield. These are little respawn points. Let's see where we can fly if we go up there. Oh, Sir Garwin put out the snack table. Oop, I can't roll up the hill because I'm out of stamina. Let's eat some honey. I'm going to make some popcorn today, too. Uh, I don't see anywhere safe to fly to. <laughs> Anyone received any buffering? Uh, I've got excellent connection right now, so hopefully you shouldn't get too much of that. Oh, we're just going to do the easy way here. Fast travel home. Thank you, Miss Chris, for gathering that stuff. So I can do that right away. Uh, let's go look at that better shield. We got to get this guy a crucible. Man, I don't know if I can wait. Because <laughs> uh, once we get a crucible, uh, we can make either the tank set of armor or the adventurer set. I think I might get the adventurer set just because it's called adventurer. It looks cuter. There is no hide helmet, though. Yeah. And... The shields. So, the shield I have right now is just equivalent to this shield, the round shield. 7 block, 20 parry. Uh, this one is 11 block, 43 parry. So that's linen, charcoal, and metal sheets. I think we should be able to make that. Real quick. There's some metal sheets. Uh, there's some charcoal. Any more linen in here? 
I I want to start a flax farm today, so we can make our own flax. There was a little bit of linen in here too, and I'll make some more in case there's not enough for a Raleigh. Okay, so we can make that. Sweet. So if we go into there now, we could uh, re-equip that for that. This one's cooler. It's got this little light on it and everything. But this one's just better. Yeah, so maybe I'll be able to block now. Oh, you put a small patch out front to grow flax? Nice. All right, and then I'll put that one in the box in case somebody wants it. Uh, let's see. This looks like a good place for it. Now let's put the linen over here by her. Cool. Yeah, so there's my new shield. You can't see it from the front because I'll turn around. <laughs> I can. You can see it like that. It looks like I've used it a bit already. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, real quick, too, while we're doing this kind of stuff, before we start building, let's look in here. Um, I actually want to refund Sneak Attack, I think, because even though it's amazing, does 10 times more damage on where our enemies, uh, situationally, it doesn't come into play very often at all. All right, I've got plenty of tokens on me. Oof. Well, that is a very small patch. <laughs> We're going to make, I'll make a whole little farm area in a second. So if you go into here, you can reset your skill points for 10 runes. Let's go ahead and do that. And now I've got 31 points. So what do we want to do? Um... I do really want to do the parry stuff. It's just a matter of if I can learn how to do it. The timing's really weird in this game. For sure, though, I want the double jump and the jump attack, right? So we're going to go ahead and get those. Boop. Oh, there's more dirt patch in the building blocks. Nice. You're no longer live. Now put to the past. Sometimes I wish I could do that. IRL. <laughs> Generally not when I'm watching. Alright, that's the jump attack. That's the double jump. And that one makes the double jump better. Now, there's so many things I want. I want to get to the end of this one. Um, we weren't doing enough damage yesterday. And these all make your weapons do more damage. You have to choose, though, between slashing blunt and piercing uh, the best weapons i have so far unfortunately jay are slashing so we'll probably go that route i also want to get to this blink attack here oh because that is looks really cool you go you teleport instead of dodging and there are a few just practical things in here i'll probably want to do for the building episode um this makes you do 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. So, yeah, hopefully that works on the glowstone and the copper and the flint. Stuff like that. Uh, so I don't really want to spend the points, but uh, it's pretty meager right now when you try to get stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that, at least today, out of practicality. And also this one, the uh, durability. Tools last 50% longer. And then there's this one here for one point. The rested buff is increased by five minutes. The rested buff gives you a lot more stamina. Bonk is definitely the best. And as soon as I get a really good bonk weapon, we will spend the 10 tokens and switch right over. Or maybe we'll be able to do both of them. Who knows? I want to be able to do all of them, but I also just need to do more damage. So, yeah, we're going to add five more minutes to our rested buff. Eventually... That will be inconsequential because like I, I posted in the our Discord in the Enshrouded Room, these people had done this amazing build and they had so many comfort objects in there that 
when they left home, they had like an hour and six minutes of resting buff. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Okay, not worried about trees. 10% chance to get one additional resource. Meh. Um, this is really good in the heat of things, but we're not going to do that. So yeah, we're not doing sneak attack now. I do need more stamina. Uh, I had this chosen before. Uh, hopefully this can give that to us. Um, but right now we'll either want to go for the blink or we want to go for straight damage, right? Uh, so if we wanted to get here, what have we got? 15 points. That'd be one, uh, three. This could be interesting. Seven, 10, 14 would get us there. You want to see what Beastmaster is like? Beastmaster increases poison resistance, poison resistance, endurance, which gives you stamina. Uh, looks like wild animals don't attack you anymore. Uh, oh, and then wild animals will attack the enemy for you. Wow, cool. And then this one is one endurance for every two levels of the flame. Um, I kind of don't want the animals to not attack me, though, because I want experience from everything I can get. I wouldn't mind this one. The eagle eye greatly increases the zoom while aiming with the bow. Now, there's a bunch of cool ranger skills. Assassin is all the sneaky stuff. Survivor is strength and food and endurance. That's a one-pointer. Um, this is two-handed weapons. And, you know, one that looks really cool, if you want to get to the this one, this is updraft. This is uh, pressing the jump button while gliding will give you a small height boost. So you get a little updraft once per flight to help you go farther, which is cool. Um, this one here, after receiving damage, there is a 20% chance to reflect 50% of the damage back to the attacker. As fire damage. I figured out that's basically if that happens once every five times, basically on average you're reflecting 10% of the damage back that they give to you, which could be pretty useful. I would like that one. Yeah. Trickster? Uh, is there a straight trickster? Oh, yeah. Trickster is. The keystone for it is a magic power punch that pushes and stuns foes. Replaces your unarmed attacks as long as you have the necessary mana. Is it mana or mana? Uh, Counter-Strike, so there's a 20% chance. Yeah, so that that's this one. It's in the trickster tree. Sending damage back. It's kind of like a thorns, it's often called. And then uh, increases your mana, increases your intelligence. Um spirit which is the attribute that gives you mana intelligence intelligence increases your mana uh, your magic damage and spirit gives you more mana to do more magic terror on a critical hit with a spell the target will be stunned for four seconds you will gain one spirit for every two levels of the flame all right guys you call it should i just go for more straight damage or should i go for blink I want to do both <laughs> at some point, but, uh, any opinions? This also give me evasion attack. It allows me to dash towards the enemy and deal more weapon damage with left mouse button. Yeah. A little dodge attack. I get a little bit more armor. I'll get a little bit more health to get there. This will give me mana back when I suffer magical damage, but I'm not using mana right now because I'm not doing the staff. Tough choices, indeed. Are we on low latency? Yes, we are. Well, I'm not 
not seeing any opinions. You're just going to make me choose for myself. I think this would be the more practical one right now. It's just to add more damage. How far could we get up this? That would be one, three, four, six, nine, uh, 13. We could get this far. That would increase our damage by 10%, uh, more than 15%. Whatever gets us closer to better bonk. <laughs> well, these will all add to the bonk for sure. And then the bonk is just two up this way versus slashes two this way. So we could always add the bonk. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll go for blink later. Uh, but that'll be fun. So instead of rolling, we go... Which is pretty cool. I think I saw a thing for it in... Um, uh, in... Reddit. Let me see. Let me find the uh, Entrouded Room. Someone left a little... Little, little gif of it. Let's see if I can see it. I think it's already been buried by other posts. Well, I'd rather show you myself anyway once we get to it. We could always just put it on right now and then uh, respec again. <laughs> we're not, we don't really have that many points to apply. Hmm. Let's see, blink. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so this is it right here. So yeah, in combat it would be pretty handy. I was also wondering if that would actually give you iframes. Cause the um the whatchamacallit, the roll, the dodge doesn't actually have iframes, which is kind of bunk. They need to call one Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> All right, but for now, I'll do the practical one. We'll do Constitution, and then we'll do Warrior's Path. That's 10% more damage right there. And we'll go Strength, and then we'll Slasher, and Butcher, and Veteran. That gives me two points left. I can't quite get to there yet. Um, but let's go ahead and take back that uh, endurance one. Because we need all the stamina we can get. We'll do two of them, actually. Let's do endurance and endurance. So we got stamina and strength, and we can hit harder. Uh, we can always redo that. It only costs 10 points. Um, there was a thing up here to test damage. The unfortunate thing right now is that if we pull this out, the hammer, I mean, it's not unfortunate, but our base is so big right now, it extends already all the way into this POI. <laughs> so, uh, if anything breaks here, it doesn't reset anymore. I already killed, accidentally killed one of the the archery targets over there there's just two archery targets i was testing my archery damage and it uh just broke one <laughs> uh and it won't reset now but there's this mannequin here and i hope this doesn't break i don't think we have a way to make this ourselves yet we can dismantle it i don't know if that means i can move it or not i don't know if i find somewhere that it'll actually reset i'll move it um, but, uh, we can test 
my two swords right now. So this is the Wailing Blade. This is like a legendary one from it's the Blacksmith's Daughters. So before I just did those things, I was doing 49. Be honest, they're all good. And I like a cross between Rager, Rogue, and Healer, anything that comes close to a Druid class. Yeah, I'm not even really worried about what to call it. I just want the ones that work for what I want. And I want to be able to be up in your face, basically. And uh, smack, do a lot of damage. <laughs> Tank a lot of hits. Oh, what's up, Bubba? What's up? You want to go to your bed? Go. Okay. Still nursing little doggo from his car crash. Go ahead. Go to your bed. Are you going to stay under there? He's under my desk. I think he got himself in a position that he couldn't get up easily from. Oh, sweetie. His shoulder's hurting. Yeah, you'll be more comfortable in your bed, buddy. Go ahead and go lay down. Okay, so that one was doing that now, so that's a lot more damage. And then this one does 81 now. It was doing like 60 before, so yeah. I increased my damage. Oh, that was 111. Yeah, we're hitting much harder. And this guy doesn't seem to be breaking, so that's good. 117. Oh! <laughs> well, that's that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. We hit a lot harder now. Hey, Raleigh's on. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm good. I'm kind of mellow. I just uh, redid my skills. Made a uh, advanced glider. Nice. Which Miss Chris gathered all the materials except for a short one shroud sack for you to make That's one. Good. I forget oh, where where did we where did we get anchors where? in here now for the blacksmith? What's that? There's grappling hook anchors in here for the blacksmith. Oh really? We make our own little, yeah, we make our own little like pull system. No way. Nice. Yeah. Grappling hook pull anchor and swing anchor. Oh sweet. Cool Alright, well that's another challenge for the base then. Now we know how we're getting up to the top of my house. <laughs> Yeah, I liked your attempt at the stairs so far. <laughs> it's the blue flowers that shoot at you. Okay. Break a leg. Oh. I really want to get that crucible, man. Let's go get it. Yeah? You want, you want to go get it? Sure. All right. We'll go get the crucible, and then we'll, we'll do some building. I can always change the name of the stream, too. <laughs> But I do have a lot of ideas for the building. I've been trying to get people to build on the community base. Nobody has. So I was just going to go for it. I wanted to do some basic layout, kind of establish where some of the buildings are going to be, where the farm is going to be, and um, start ex I made, expanding the dungeon. I made, hmm? I made some blocks specifically because I wanted to build them. I just haven't messed around with them yet. Okay, cool. What did you want to build? I don't know. I just I built some shroud wood blocks. So I want to see what they look like. Okay. I gonna do? I was gonna unpin this. There we go. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I was looking. I was gonna. I was want my skills today too. I I went down that that path with slasher and butcher and stuff yesterday. Yeah, I just went down a whole bunch down uh, warrior, I guess. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Like I did that yesterday. Yeah. Cause then, so I just added like thirty percent to my my damage with my weapon. Yeah, and like merciless is the thing I don't ever really get a chance to use because we get we go so quick. So I'm like I'm gonna refund that. Yeah, I didn't do that, and I I refunded sneak attack because we didn't seem really to get the jump on anybody. Um, Miss Chris is here. So I gotta start picking mushrooms more because uh, you need those for the health pots. Oh, and you know what I um 
I made some of and I want to make more of is the Wisp of Light potion. Yeah. Yeah, because that uh, basically illuminates you if you don't want to carry your torch. It lasts five minutes. It's pretty good. I'm just dropping off the copper. You don't want to come get the crucible with us? Come on. I know you do. Ooh, you were getting... You were doing lots of gathering. Look at this. Where are... The fireflies. There they are. Um, yeah, I'm going to make us magical chest tonight. Nice. Um, I learned some things you don't get to see until you've, uh, actually I'm going to hold on to this flax because I want to make sure we have one flax. Actually, we need 10, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but, uh, I want to be able to plant flax tonight. Uh, some things you don't see until you've actually made the, um, the thing. Like, I didn't see Advanced Glider until I picked up some linen. And then I learned for goo that we need for our magical chests. It's either... I forget if it's bug Ooh, dust. Where's a, the critter parts? Critter parts. There's a bigger backpack extension. Oh, there's a bigger backpack now? We need dried fur and linen. And what? Linen and dried fur. Okay. We need more linen, like it's it'd be six of each of those things. I still want to get the glider though too. We might need to restart the server then. Okay. I picked a lot of flax today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make bug dust? Oh, this guy just makes it. Oh, he just makes it. Okay. Right, let's try to put it in here. Boop. Uh, yeah, because I want to make all the auto-pull chests today, too. If we can. Boop. This crafting is going to be bad for epileptics, man. Very flashy. Sorry if that's you. Alright. Now we can make goo. Nice. Did that open the goo? Yep, bug dust, shroud liquid, and dirt. There it is. Okay. And so goo is going to get us the magical chest. Now, can we make bigger chests yet? Or is uh, it still I small? Think you can actually make a bigger one, I think, with him now, can't you? Medium magic chest. Here it is. Yeah. Medium chest. Nails, wood planks, and metal sheets. Okay. Seems like those would be the good ones to make. Yeah. So it's a medium magic chest. Does it have to be a medium magic chest? Can it be a small magic chest? There's a, there's a small one too that's just a small chest and shroud cores. Which we could just, I mean, with just shroud cores, we can pick up those ones we have, make them that. You know what I'm saying? We can mm -hmm. make a whole bunch of shroud cores and just turn these into small ones that are do that now. Where's the small magic chest? Oh, there it is. It's, just, it's up to the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cheap. Yes, we could. Okay. Well, let's go get the crucible first, and we'll do that stuff. The shroud cores are just shroud spores and shroud liquid. Yeah, for sure. Easy enough to do. Yep, yep. So I was thinking if we're going to make buildings for the craftspeople upstairs, yeah. we, we don't want to have storage all over, so we could keep storage down here, but um, make it so you can U-pull from anywhere because I think that works base wide huh. so there's is it the crucial investigation or is it the forge location it is I have it marked uh, it's the forge location it's the Crucible needed for a smelter. Yeah. 
It's the forge right. location, oh, oh, right, oh, right oh, next to the. So you can do show on map. I got you. Elixir okay. thief. Okay. And then we can make our fancy armors. Just need a whole lot more metal, probably. I put nope. one stack of yeah. metal in there. I just put six hundred in there. Ooh, go. <laughs> I told you I would get your supplies. You can play with us anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted arrows and good uh armor as soon as I could. Yeah. So. All right, well let's go hard. let's go to this bar. Good work. Can you use <laughs> that carrot as used in the demo? Carrot? Uh, you don't pick up where you left off the demo, if that's what you're asking. Um, you have to start fresh now. Yeah. All right, so what's our closest place to the Crucible? It is home level one. No. Oh, no. Ancient Spire. Yep. Rebel Woods Fast Travel. I'm going now. Okay, and then that is... Where am I? Doop. Yeah, that way. Why is there always shroud in the way? <laughs> Leroy! Alright, let's not go straight into the shroud, though. Go over here somewhere. Seems like one of them fancy uh, gliders. Yep. <laughs> Guys are all floaty. Alright, I'm actually gonna drink one of these. Look at me. Nice. Hey, it's Ace. What's up, man? Alright. It does make my screen look a little washed out, though. Yeah. Um. It's not shroud anyways, right? So we should just be able to go across. The problem is we can't... You know, we might be able to get up right there. To the right? Uh, I'm a little hopeful a little bit more this way. Boink. More flax. Perfect. If we get up here, we have to probably dig our way up or something from this one. Oh. I'm throwing up this way. There's a bad guy up here somewhere. Saw his health bar. What's up, buddies? There's a bunch of them. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. And they know about us. Oh yeah, doing big damage now. We handle that. I leveled up. Thirteen. Do I light up everything for you guys too? Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Fours. Pig. They killed one of the bad guys over there. I saw his health bar go down to nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I wish it didn't make it look so washed out. Why does it got to be a trade-off? Yeah. 
Watch out for incoming walls when you glide. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Luckily, we don't take face damage. We must have really thick skulls. That's why our heads are extra big for our bodies. What do you want to bet it's in here? What do you want to bet they make us go to somewhere else after this? I will take... I will... <laughs> Not bet against either one of those. What? I am very Shoot glad. The Shoot the barrel! Huh? Shoot the barrel up there! Huh? A barrel where? There's a barrel right next to the dude. Up here on the go, go to the doorway. Apparently the I tried three times with my staff. It doesn't work apparently with the staff. That barrel. <laughs> Ow! You were rude. Nice. Freaking jerk. Oh, he's gonna. I didn't even eat any of my foods. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 hey! I'm trying to heal? Where is he? He did. He's dead. I got him. This guy. Get off of here. My spot. I need better arrows. I got some copper ones. You want those? Sure, no. if you're not going to use yeah. them. Yeah. My, my bow's not even equipped, so. I'm still using flint. Yeah, me too. One of these days, we'll be able to afford the scrap arrows. I think you might have got too far away from me while I was trying to send them to you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was like, wait, I won't have let me send them to you anymore. <laughs> you like my disco pixie? I uh, give. Thank you. There's a letter up here. Oh, it says your, your princess, princess is in another castle. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang that princess Oh, you beach. know what? We're not at the forge location right now. We're at the elixir one. Oh, uh, it looked like we needed to go through this one, maybe. Hey! Rude. Watch heals, man. Good work. Yeah. Got a healer. Yeah, I'm trying something new. <laughs> it's working well, my man. I love it's it. It's working well. I was just playing the finals and was just healing like crazy with my team. I was like, man, I forget how important this is. Yeah, I never do that for any like type of uh, I, teamwork like that. I'm always up yeah. front fighting. I love healing usually. Yeah, me too. This is something new for me. Let's draw it out. Just blow yourself up. Oh god! <laughs> oh god. Well, that didn't work. I want to knock him off, not myself. <laughs> Where is that? Where'd that Where's one from? Can I get that chest to rally? Uh, sure. Where the hell is he? Man, I'm getting nowhere with my uh, pairing. Still trying though. Thank you. Thanks. Is that do you have charges or is that one of the eternal ones? Uh, 
I believe it's charges. Yeah, I got 13 left. I'm going to calm down with that. <laughs> well, we should just calm down with getting hurt, huh? I have 15 on me if you want them. Oh, sure. Oh, I was, I was like, arrows! So, we're going around this, if we're gonna... I think there might have been one of those ones we could go through. Yeah, I mean, the Mark of Samoth is where I think we're, is where I think that Elixir thing is, which is probably down the way we just came up. Going through here? Yeah, I guess, I don't know, maybe. I thought you were coming for a walk with us, doggy. He was running alongside me like he was just coming on the walk. <laughs> that looks like a through passage there. There's bad things down here. Oh, friggin' how? <laughs> what is hurting me? Oh, maybe oh, it was the wolf that got me. Oof, thank you. Jeez. This guy's hit hard. Okay, let me get my bandages out here. Some of them heals. I made a stack of uh, healing potions I'm carrying so I can. Uh, nice. I don't have to use up all your charges, Ace. Alright. I'll meet yeah, those we, for uh, emergencies. I'll say we can probably hold on until we get to like some crazy fights. Is this the one that's doing the most damage? Lava. 30, 35. nice if you fall in the lava you can grab the hook <laughs> i think it's because we have to jump over there do we think like so. if we have to come back that's how we get oh. back up oh man so that yeah. no wonder i couldn't find that spot i was like i thought it was just a <laughs> i effed up button <laughs> yeah i was searching everywhere on my single player could not find it so i gave up yo there's one of the green dudes ah shoot he saw us Where's he at? Uh, there's, I think, a couple of them. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my I goodness. just fell off the edge. That's not awesome. Oh, oh my god, ow. Ah. I, I can't see anything. Trying to get them on me. Oh god. Ow. That was quick. Oh, this God. is awful. <laughs> no, no, why would you stop? Oh, okay. Anybody alive? Ace I is. am. I oh. can't. Oh, no, he's not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know where I'm. I think we're going to have to respawn. Miss Chris, it's just the dude up here, and he's by my body, and he's coming down towards you. Yep, he just got me. Why do these guys hit so hard? I don't know. I don't get it, man. No, we're all the way back here. Oh, I'm in the ground. Oh, never mind. Man. Do we heal if we sit? Probably not. No. Well, yeah, you do. It's just not fast. You can at least get you rested. Yeah. I'm already going. You would. <laughs> 
I got some vengeance to exact, man. I, I can't sit around. Those dudes do hit way harder than they should be able to. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Come back, monkey. <laughs> I forgot I need stamina to glide. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, maybe I will rest. Dang it. <laughs> I was just going, 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 and then, like, it's like, no, you're not. All right. Stamina back. I jump. I don't understand the shields either. They just seem to cut right through them. Yeah. To me, it, it seems like like when you drop your shield and try to do it again in combat, it doesn't work sometimes. Like it doesn't pick up your shield. Mm -hmm. So, so you think your sh like your shield's up and you just you just get hit. I seem to be able to block a hit or two, but then they just cut right through it. And I almost never get that parry. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. Oh, look, Let's... here's somebody's. Here's where somebody died. Hmm. Hey, go ahead and grab it because it should be no could nothing. Be. should be nothing in it. Let's make it go away. <laughs> never, nice. never happened. Was there anything in it? Blacks. All right. All right. Always get your stamina before you jump. Oh, let me drink my water. That's part of it. Watch out for the boy. Yeah, there's an angry flower or two on the way up. Don't forget. There's a tree too. When you run into it, face first. Mm, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crunch. Things I do for you, chat. You'll be my lunch. <laughs> so we really got to figure out how to soften those green guys up before we uh, launch into them. Yeah. Huh. Range them. I got a, I got explosives. Miss Chris. That's some. Maybe we can trap him in a hole. Is he just... Are those blades just dripping with poison? Is that how they're getting us, or what's going on? It's just another way through. That's funny. Yes, I was just there. hoping maybe we could sneak in somehow. Yeah, so I was thinking, I was like, ooh, secret, secret. No. Yeah, there was a tunnel here. We got to get our stuff now. There's another dude here. Yeah, there's a dude up top with a wolf across the way. I got some people back. Dang, I'm already like close to death. What level are these guys? 13, 13 and 15 is the one down there. I think I'm 10. I'm 10 you, now, yeah. You've got two 13s with us. Why are you guys getting steamrolled? 
I got my levels by mining, <laughs> not fighting. <Yeah. laughs> I'm a miner, not a fighter. Alright, wands out. Let's try to range them down before it gets to us. I couldn't figure out where he was shooting me from. You guys are braver than me. <laughs> I see he made it, I'm doing it too. Now I gotta figure out which one of these is mine. Was I up here or was I down here? I was over here. Hey, yeah, the plus oh, side, we can see things now. If we don't harvest our stuff, we don't get our stuff back, we can actually see. Yeah, that was the whole issue. All right, there's the the one over there to the left is mine. But figured that maybe we can. I'll leave mine on this side if you want me to. We haven't hit them once yet. We're too far. Oh, the dude's oh, up here! God. Oh my god! <laughs> Behind us. <laughs> uh. Oh, what the heck hit me? That one guy. Are there three of them? Oh, was he following Ace, me? Ace, can you pick me up real quick? I'm right behind oh, you. Oh, my bad. Oh no, dude's coming, dude's coming. Move, move, move. Distraction. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay. Oh, he, he patiently waited. I got him almost down. Oh, god dang it, he got me. He's so close to dead. Got him. Nice. Main one, one's down. One more. Just, just the one last dude left. Nice Woo. work. Good teamwork, guys. Good yeah, I just, I just tried to face tank him and take him down as quick as yeah. I could. I was ranging as hard as I could when you did that. I was like, get him. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Man, I, maybe I do need to go down that that path to get martyr. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I said I don't want any skill that depends on me dying. And we it thought this was going to be a chill stream. I know. I thought I was just going to build. Did you just pick this one up? When you are killed by an enemy, all as the 50 meters get you 30% of maximum health. Well, I didn't pick any up besides mine. Picked mine up. This one was mine that was right here. Oh, Yours should be is this away one across away. Mine yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh maybe you fell close to the edge. I've. Yeah, yeah. I fell down in there and was trying to get back up and died. Yeah, that one's yours. Yeah, they put it where you fell from, generally. Okay. Um... All right. I see daylight. Well, daylight in the shroud. I gotta remember in a single player to just to run through. <laughs> Alright, we got three minutes and 40 seconds, at least I do. There's a flame sanctum straight ahead. Oh, perfect. Ow. Yeah. Out of the shroud. If we see one of those blue shooty flowers, get it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, see one. Whew. What's in here? Oh, it's the flame site. Oh. Give me your spark.
need a freaking repair bench, oh, too. It's, it's in the ground. I had one like that earlier today, and I couldn't get it out. I just blew a hole in it, put it in the ground. The grenade. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Nice. That works. I have some death. All right, where are we going? This, just south of us. But back through the shroud. Is it so on he... top of that hill? I was like, what were we supposed to do with the elixir thing that we went down there for? Whoa. Mushrooms I don't know, but we didn't oh, get it. Oh, it's a mushroom dude and he's stuck. Huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever it was. I hope it is. We didn't get it. Okay. The forge is south of us. Almost got you, buddy. No cooking? I'm sorry. It's all sheltered in here. I don't want to hit you. I'm just trying to get you out. Here you go, buddy. Stay in here. <laughs> don't be mad at me. I'm you trying to help. You beat me to it. That doesn't work. It doesn't. <laughs> no. Oh, we only get to 40 and it goes back. Yeah. What was down there? They're just trying Fire. to. They're trying to. Lazy bones are trying to sleep. I freed him. Goodbye, mushroom crab. So you think if we go across, we can get up on top of that hill? <laughs> That's you. Um. Thanks. <clears throat> I see you under the map over here. I don't feel like we can get up that hill from there. I mean, it's over there somewhere. I know, but I feel like we just didn't need to go in the th or I, there's there was those other uh, passageways mm -hmm. at that place we went. I think it's one of those. Maybe it's one of those top ones. Oh, yeah. mm. Got it. You want to? We can shoot home and go back to the tower real quick. I'm gonna shoot home so we can repair. And then go back up to the spire. Okay. Rest up. Oh, actually, all we needed for the other gla for my glider was the those spore things, right? You got the sport thing? Ace, can you send me that spore stuff? That spore sack? Yes, I can. Appreciate it. That sounds so wrong. Send me your <laughs> spore sack. Yeah, I got your spore sack, boy. <laughs> Shroud sack. That actually sounds worse. <laughs> oh, I need string too. Oops. I'm putting flax up here, but don't spin it, y'all, because uh, I want to plant it. I have some only too. Put in this top one with the consumables. I already did. I think I only had like two. I'm gonna get this little farm going so we can have all the flax. Nice. 
Uh, what am I doing? I'm gonna do some cooking for those boars. Real quick. Hunter has a job for it. I'm sure she does. <laughs> they all got stuff for us to do. Could you leave the thing that I left in the most dangerous place possible on the map? Thanks. Uh, I want to do that. I'd get it myself, but uh, I can't move for some reason. I'm get myself, but like you're here, so you might as well. I seem to be rooted to the spot where you put me somehow. Yeah, I don't know what kind of weird black magic you got, but. I'm making a lot of boar hunches if anybody needs one. Gives you a bit more health than the uh, the uh, wolves do. I got two of them to cook them, so. Jay, I got some sad news. Our otter starved on Asa. Um, but uh, the brothers went and filled our troughs for us, thankfully. So we, there's nothing else. But uh, I gotta get back to Ark one of these days. <laughs> I was keep planning to. I stopped in to check on all my troughs today. I should just remember to uh, cry on my otters because those are the things that always die first. I should have potted mine too. It was just on the bed where it fell last time I slept on it. All right, anybody need boar meat? Yeah, I'll take some. Boop, boop. There you go. Thanks, okay, sir. I'm going to take a quick bio break. I got another stack if you need some more. I'll be right back. Ace, did you look in this chest over here? There's a bunch of healy stuff. Mm, which one? Uh, over here. Oh, wow. Army wants to like just reinvest my points in something right now. <laughs> so like oh. I could I guess I could go down the tank route maybe. It doesn't I'm seem almost... like there's Yeah. I'm almost like all the way down Ranger. Point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Heading back to the uh tower? Yeah, let me. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just respec real quick to some basic stuff to try to give us some other options. I need one more point to uh, get evasion attack. 
I say I'm gonna pick up evasion now. I almost did blink, but I decided to go for a heavy hitting instead. Thank you, Sir Garvin. Evasion. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I think you just gotta dodge towards an enemy. Yeah, if you dodge towards an enemy and with a melee weapon, it does more damage. Yeah. I'm kind of curious if you can combine that with your double jump uh, attack. It doesn't say dodge though. It just says when it, when it's equipped, you can perform an evade attack, which dashes you forward. You guys here? Try it that way now. Swamp Otter is still alive. Oh, good. Just in time for night time. I don't think this is the right way. It gets so friggin' dark. I'm not sure where I'm going. <laughs> Dang it. Ready? Yep. Right. Yeah, at this point, I can't tell. So I, I feel like I just have to wait now because it's so dark. I can't see anything, even with my torch out. Even the trees that are coming straight at your face. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, there's stuff to pick up here. Forest beats. They're up that way. Are you guys in a cave? No. I'm outside and I still can't see anything. <laughs> I see Monkey's nameplate underneath me. We're above you, Monkey. Oh, you're above me? Oh, yeah, there you are. How'd you get up there? Uh, go around to the right, and then you can go to the left, and there's a corner you can jump up. There's a cave below us. Or below you. In front of me. Ooh, a trout over here. Any weapon. Formative. Yeah, so you have evasion attack? Yeah, I just picked it up. So I wonder I if you, like, block heal. and then hit left, uh, click. Oh, nope. Maybe it's only an enemy. Yeah. I also picked a battle here, which apparently will heal me for 5% if I critical hit. 
Not that that's nice. amazing, but you know. This yeah, there's some decent leech skills. Five percent is five percent. The thing we're going to is that way. Wanting a bunch of beats. Mark of Samoth. You think we're going for Mark of Samoth to get to the Crucible? I think so. Yeah, that location for me is not even, uh, like it doesn't even have an icon, it has a question mark. Forge location. Yeah, it's still it's still a question mark for me too. But there's a little pick mark of Samoth just before it. Too bad we can't make yeah. the night shorter in here. But look to the north. There's one that says crucible. Or crucial investigation. Yeah, that's, Is that not, not that's, that's what I was asking before, too. It's a different one. Oh, okay. Yeah. The forge location is, I think, through the Mark of Samoth. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you look in your journal yeah. and say crucible needed and say show on map, it uh, yeah. centers you right on that. I wonder if we... Yeah, we gotta go through the mark. It's gotta be one of those ones that beats through. Okay, we can at least see a little bit, so just straight ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Boldly we fly. Three of those roaming plants try to cover your face and stuff. We had to go past them, right? Yeah, yeah, up short of left. I got my face! <sighs> <laughs> so you know what that reminds me of? The, the postules. Oh, like the, the postules. It reminds me of the clickers off of the last of us. Yeah. Oh, look at how I'm in the bottom. Yeah, we need that better armor, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. More coming up. Can't learn how to parry. We got. We gotta get better armor. I don't see anything. Oh, was that it? Oh, that might have been it right there. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, so you have to dash forward. I have to roll and then click to do it. Okay. Well, now we know. your whole back. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> it shouldn't be. So we essentially need to go west. So do we just go up to one of them that goes westish? Try it. I don't. Well, there's one down here that kind of goes where we need to. Yeah. Oops. Oh, there's dudes. Well, the Mark of Samoth is like right here. It's a big chest up here. pretty good it's 
says the mark of Samoth is a, the way I'm, 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 I'm facing right here. Oof. Oh, look, there it is. There's a note right here. Oh, I, I repaired it accidentally, but that's fine. <laughs> you have dug too far, dug too deep. Samoth, your greed for your elixir cannot be quenched. Keep it to you. You keep it to yourself when you said you'd share, you liar. We, your people, die for you in those tunnels for what? We banish you from our midst. Go now, or we will show you the strength of our numbers. Find your elixir somewhere else. This is this our mine. Well, this is our mine. Okay. What's that? The crucible, I think. Oh. Collect. Nice. Oh, you found it. That was easy. No. Back here. I mean, once we actually knew where it was, it was easy. Copper bar. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Shall we return then? Um. Do we want to just get Marcus Samoth while we're here? I thought we had Marcus Samoth. Uh, we're still not at it yet. I mean, we found a note for it. Waypoint says this way. Hi. Bad dog. There's some copper. Although. Miss Chris has already done a lot of this, so I don't really know what we're doing. She said she, there's like 400 there already. Oh, there's more than that. <laughs> 400 what? Oh, Copper. Man. Copper. Oh, look. I brought like 600 back. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, there's a note up here. What's it say? Statement has been slain. His body rods tied to the mycelium pillar. Warning to all who will elect a new leader. One who will not rule by fear and gluttony. One who is just and truthful. The elixir will be ours. Okay. I feel like we're on the right track. And it's right ahead of us on the map. Up top. There. Location there's below. Way down here. There's a way through down here. What's anything up there? Still below. It's immediately below me. I think there's a... If we were here. Yeah, we're just here. Is there still a quest for something that says the mark of Santa? Oh, right over here. Oh, it's still below me. It's like directly below me. Does it say location below still to you? Yeah. Oh. I'm tempted to just dig down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. It's right here. I'm getting nowhere fast.
Wait, hold on. Do you want on. to throw a bomb down yeah, there? Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Whoa! <laughs> Don't throw anymore. <laughs> can see all the stuff I didn't realize you could see all the things they can make from your inventory yeah I learned that too, in the workshop yeah well, if nothing else I'm getting dirt and stone <laughs> It's funny because like I got the location thing when we got here, man. That's why I was like, "What's it telling you you still have to do?" Because like, it doesn't have any of that for me anymore. No, it still says no. below. As chat is my witness. You might be bugged out, man. Did we miss a book somewhere that's telling us what we're supposed to be know, doing? I was say, do you have a a journal entry that says you need to do something there, monkey? Like, is it on your map still for you to do something there? Uh, I don't like know which circles? which which one is it. I mean, the if if there's a thing to do there, you'd have a circle around it still, and like a little triangle or a little diamond thing. Oh, on the map. Yeah. Uh, go to journal. Elixir thief. Um, how many pages for Elixir Thief do you have? Let's see. I only have one. I'm trying to find Elixir Thief. I don't have Elixir Thief. If you... If... When I hovered over the triangle... It said, uh... Um, it's a go to journal. And then the journal took me over. to Elixir Thief. The triangle I'm standing on here. Oh, I got you. Okay. I got one of three pages found. Okay. Okay. So we're the same. I only have... But does that mean the elixir thief has moved then? Look, there's another question mark thing down farther to my left. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably doing something stupid. Test of skill, story of rock. Waypoint oh, reached. Oh. What? <laughs> You've reached the waypoint by just going straight down the hole? Yeah. It's very little sense. That's weird. It says I'm there. You're just Let's... probably in the area. Yeah. Nothing else, I'm getting mats <laughs> for my building. I'm digging sideways now. Oh, 
that's probably a much better way to do this. I mean, I don't see anything that takes you down to that level. Uh, well, there goes my pickaxe. I'm done. Alright, my only choice is to fast travel back. I have to work on this some other time. But I found it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back at home. Alright. Oh, here it is! Just joking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got me! <laughs> I was like, damn! <laughs> <laughs> I just totally not related to this in any way, but I bought some like really thick bacon. Like I bought bacon before, but like well, like it was like quarter inch thick bacon. Mm -hmm. Bro, I've been baconing wrong my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> it was a that was a world changer. It was it's so good. Thick bacon. When it's that thick. It's so much better than I expected it to be. I usually get the um, the ends and pieces. If I can, yeah. Instead of just the like, the slices, because they're way cheaper, right? Yeah. Oh my God, there's a lot of copper in here. Um, but like that's like I've always <laughs> bought like thick cut bacon, right? But like never like that, and like it's more like the ends and pieces. And I was like, oh, I need to do this all the time. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put this crucible down. Yeah. Somewhere. Uh. Where's he want it? Back here. Right by him. Uh, don't give me a new thing, man. Celebrate what we just did. <laughs> He's all something's terrible. Something terrible's at Pike Mead's reach. I know it in my bones. To flame and glory. Time to craft a smelter. The forge. No, like smelter. I can't, can't actually get to it back there. We it don't. We up. don't need to. It's just something he has to have by him. I thought we had to like do stuff. We have with the metal. Now that he has that, we can make a smelter. Oh, okay. I gotta use the crucible. Crucible. Yeah, yeah. And fifty fired brick. Got it. Okay. Got it. We have fired brick. Uh, we should. Is it? Is it? Where? Is, where would it be? In the kiln area, probably with the dude. 40. Okay, we might have some up in the building and stuff too. We've got five fired up there. We need what, clay, right? Yeah, I just, I had just uh, harvested a little bit of clay. I'm gonna put, I'll put some clay in there. Yeah, we need five more. Please go. About 30 seconds per, it looks like. Hurry up! Let's get one at a time. There's one. <laughs> Four more. Crucible. Well, at least before we build their houses, we'll uh, know uh, what they, how much space they need. You want to, you want to look up there with me? I was gonna figure out uh, a little bit how stuff goes. So, I mean, the elements we need is um, I want to make a tower to fly from. Mm -hmm. Um, which maybe should be like central, like here or something. I mean, because we actually probably want that closest to the edge, probably, right? Yeah, I guess so. So maybe we like put it like over here, right? Okay. And uh, we need a farm area, mm -hmm. and we need. 
Well, the farmer's building could be a little hut on the edge of the farm area as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I found it. And and then we need four more buildings, right? Um, blacksmith building. I kind of know what those look like. Alchemist building. The, uh, who else? The uh, carpenter's building. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe the alchemist building could be combined with the tower. Sort of the yeah. wizard, the wizard's yeah. tower. Yeah. So that could that could be combined over here. Although you don't want to really make us run too far, right? Like even now, you have to run between them. If you have to run to each of them. You know, I think maybe we keep them all centralized. And the tower is just the tower. Yeah. We can put the hooks on them on the way up, too, to just kind of, like, roll up the outside if we need to. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we can just alternate back and forth up till the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as high as it lets go, we'll find out. Um, but do you care where any care where anything is? I mean, where do you want to put the farmland stuff? Yeah, where would big flat area? That's not too hard to get to. I mean, this isn't bad over here. I say this side maybe. All this bit. Yeah. Depending on how big it's got to be. And then yeah, and we've got the carpenter. The blacksmith. I mean, I feel like maybe the blacksmith goes in this area. Yeah, yeah. Maybe kind of the central. Kind of off to this side. Yeah, or maybe maybe here opposite the blacksmith. Okay. Oh, like, okay. Like, maybe, like, continue this on. Yeah, right? this is the cross in the road, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, like, have... Yeah, yeah. So you got, like, two-sided, like, maybe, like, open kind of thing, right? Or whatever mm -hmm. for the forge on this side. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, yeah, the carpenter's thing over in this area. Mm-hmm. And then the hunter... Needs a lodge. Probably. Yeah. But the. I, mean, I kind of think, like. Like, do we put the farmer's thing, like, here? Yeah. And have the farmland kind of be back this direction? So then we can do, like, the lodge or the, uh. The alchemist stuff, kind of, like, right here. You know? On either side? You could. I mean, it depends on how much farmland we need. Like, if this is all farmland. You can make a little farmer's hut here. She doesn't need much. The seed bed. What if, um... This is carpenter. Thematically, I would put the hunter over here by the trees unless someone cuts them all down and they don't come back. <laughs> right, that's that's a bit of my worry, right? Is that... Can, can't y'all plant trees? Can you plant trees? I don't know. I think so. I don't know how you do that. If you can, uh, that's cool. Crafts people, farmer. That's not the farmer. Workshops, what we need. Seed bed. Yeah, we can make a broadleaf tree, evergreen tree. Oh, nice. Bunch of bushes. And shrubs. That's all in the seed bed? In the fruits. Yes. There's evergreen tree seedling, broadleaf tree seedling. Yeah, and then berry bush, strawberry seedling. Okay. Okay. Um, so then do we do Hunter this way and Alchemist on this side then? Behind the, like, forage area? 
Yeah. I mean, if this is our road system... Yeah. I would imagine the Alchemist Tower, like, at the end of the road. Or, you know. Depending on what we make it look like. And then the Rich, you probably ready? Hunter can be over here. To... Yeah, I was, I was, uh, calculatingly wasting time while those cooked. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was gonna like make them basements that connect in our dungeon. Everybody gets a basement. Nice. That connects to the labyrinth. Okay, so we need to make the smelter. We can make it. Fired brick, crucible. Doing it. Nice. You got a heart of steel, kid. Oh, is that good? That's like Carlac. Hard to steal. Can we move? Like, can we break down this part? And just build that over here next to the kiln and then put that smelter thing where this is at? Uh, I mean, we're going to move it all anyway, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So let's throw it down here. I might have it backwards. Oh, well. <laughs> you can pick it up. All right, copper and charcoal. There's much copper in there now. A lot. I put a lunge in there. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is a maniac. Yeah. So is it five yeah. minutes the for best, ten bars? The best kind of maniac. Saying? Yeah, consider how long it takes to mine copper. Oh my god. It was hours. <laughs> oh boy. And I mined twigs as well. We will make a monument to you. Man. <laughs> Out of copper. So what's it take to make six? So two... I should probably keep one Five, slot six, open for the copper to seven. go in, huh? Fifteen, fourteen. So it's fourteen pieces of copper for the, for the tank set. Well, cool. At least we got it going now. It's gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is all brand new to me now. Five, six, um, seven. It's eight for the adventurer set. That's what I was thinking about making. Yeah, I was thinking the adventurer set too. Also, we don't know where, at least I don't know where Amber is yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need Amber for the, the tanks, so don't we? Miss Chris, where did yeah. you say you put the farm soil? Uh, in with the blocks. Um, I think with the, the stone and stuff up here. Okay. Yeah, that farm soil. And the farmer has a new quest as well. Oh, there we go. She wants a fireplace. Oh. Get some cooking going. Mm-hmm. Better foods. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Goodbye. That's a lot if less... If anybody wants to make her a fireplace. Who had the rake? Did he have the rake? The, the blacksmith can make it. Always. At least I thought he could. I don't see it now, but I thought he had it. I see Go scrappy on. rake. Oh, rake, yeah, okay. metal scraps, charcoal. There was a bug with it where you couldn't make it. We have to go get her a kettle to go on her fireplace. Uh, I'm at the map and it's four. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it takes a rake to make the scrappy rake. Looking good. What? Oh, didn't wait, wait, wait. Didn't we? What, we picked up a rake with uh. One of us picked up a rake with the with one of the things we did. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know who did, but one of us got a rake. Is 
It's not in the, the workbench. Uh, it's in your regular backpack or your regular crafting, I think. Oh, you can make it yourself? Oh, maybe not. I thought it was. I thought we picked one up from one of those places. I mean, we don't have to have it. It's just, it's for leveling ground. That's what they do, I think. Yeah. Uh, there was some bug that if you advanced too fast and didn't make it, it disappeared. Yeah, that's what I was like, did we? Because I know I, I know we picked it up. Because I thought you got it, Monkey, when we picked up uh, one of the things. Did I? I don't remember that. You looked through everything? You didn't see it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember picking up a rake, but... That means nothing. I remember seeing it in the... crafting. Yeah, I saw it someplace. Well... When I when I said that it disappeared, I didn't mean the actual rake disappeared, but the um, the ability to make it disappeared. Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna Google. Entrouded. I found it. They found it. It's in the blacksmith. It's under scrappy rake. No, no, no. Yeah, but, you, you but it takes a rake, rake to, to make, make the scrappy it. rake. Oh, Thank okay. you, Sir Garwin. Oh man, yeah, I didn't get that. I know, I, I was happy when I saw that, and it's like, one of the ingredients is rake. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. <laughs> Trotted rake. Uh, a rake is a tool you can use to flatten terrain in preparation for building. I mean, it's not super important. We can always just do that with pieces, but... Uh, I mean, could we theoretically just put down a, like, a floor and pick it back up? Yeah. Like, a, the, the one tall? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to have it to have it, but um, it says you'd make it at the at your workbench. But, uh, yeah, it's a bug where if you advance too fast and don't make it, the recipe disappears from your workbench. It's very silly. It's very silly. So, no rake for us. That's fine. Oh well. So sad. Too bad. Get some stone, get some dirt. Dirt roadblock. Um, there is one place where the road joins us that would be nice to have it, but it's a little uneven. Make city wall blocks. So I I figured out why it takes so many blocks to make a block. Yeah. This one block is the smallest unit of the block, which is uh, this little guy here. Um, and it's uh the one meter block is is I think uh. Uh, two by two and then the two meter block is four by four by four which is 48 so it takes 48 blocks to make the two meter block because mm -hmm. it's based on this smallest block
make a little space in my inventory. So we got nine farm soil. We could make it, or I bet I could just go to uh, one of the areas with farms and just mine it. Mm. And then when we restart, that will reset. It makes 10 at a time. Of the soil? Yeah, when I made it, it, it made me all 10 of those. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to start some flax seedlings making. Boop. One that needs water. Split. Split. Plant those. You leaving us, Sir Garwin? Okay. Okay, so let's see. We're doing shapes. So was this a four meter block of farm soil you put down, or what was this? Um, it was just the terrain. Okay. And it was just the third one from the end. farm soil this is the easy way to replace this with dirt so you guys have to bear with me for a minute as I learn how to use all the building tools uh, okay, these are wall blocks, I see. Uh, uh, single terrain block, cube. Do Can we do a cube of soil? Cube of dirt? Yes, we can. This is probably going to be the carpenters later anyway, so let's not worry about that. Let's sleep. Am I sleeping, Ace? Yes, I will. I don't even have beds for hours to sleep, do we? No, but... Two of us should make it go fast enough. That's 24 times anyway. I don't know if you guys resting makes a difference. It feels like it does. Even it <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Oh, 
And I'm rested. I took that rested buff for one point. Gives me five more minutes of it. Okay, so... I wanted to do this. What do we do? We, um... Get the hammer out, and... Let's pick... Four meter shape. Can we just hollow out a ceiling's worth of soil? And... Can we get that to go into the ground? Should we continue the road a little bit? Let's see if we have any flint. We may need to go get some flint. Or we could do a road out of something else. I just used flint because it's the only thing that looked different at the time. Got a little bit. Flint. Flint. What is it? That one. Boop. And we'll just come all the way around. Why not? Extend out a little bit into the farmland. That kind of flattens it, but it doesn't hollow it. It's fine. Okay, so if we go to terrain. Okay, here we go. Six. That's a big thing of soil. So we make that dirt farm soil. That's what we want. Just like that. That's high. We want it lower. And does it always got to be lumpy? I wonder if the rake would help with that. Or maybe that's just what farm soil looks like. I'm gathering up some more flint for you. Oh, thank you. That's all the farm soil we got. Okay. <laughs> we'll get smaller with it then. Is that how we want it? 
No? There we go. Let's get down all the farm soil we've got, and then we'll go get some more. But let's want to get that flax growing. That's growing. Woo! It's a cube. You see a Raleigh falling with low health in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made a grapple hook thing to see if it works or not and yeah you need some kind of a landing pad and what i have there that'll work so <laughs> it's funny you saw that though jay <laughs> That's all the farm soil we got right now. Excellent. See if let's go see if those flax seedlings are made. I want. I know we're gonna want flax. We're gonna want strawberries. We're probably on everything, but corn. I want for um, popcorn, which is better than honey. That's the flax seedlings. Got twenty of them for ten. I'm still working on another one. Oh, okay. Oh, you get 10 for every one. Oh, that's great. Still making more. So how's this going to work? And am I just going to be able to place them in here? Can I put them on my hot bar? Let's find out. Place them. Freehand. Oh, they're snapping. Oh, cool. Oop. I'm farming. <laughs> oh, so funny thing is, when you go to pick up one of those things, it grapples you to it. <laughs> and then you pick it up and fall to your doom. <laughs> when you try to pick up what? <laughs> the grapple hook thing. <laughs> like it was still over the pit, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna move it. So I held E to grab it, and it like grappled me to it, and then picked it up as I was grappled to it. <laughs> then a little wily e. coyote moment. Oh, you're trying to do your thing here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can see you placing that. I love that you can see other people's ghost images. Alright, let's go see if I can steal some soil. Where was that nice farm spot? It was called uh well, the town. Peaceful yeah. Acres. Yeah, that was one of them, right? I think so. Uh, there's no fast travel there. We can go from here. Can I just do it with the pick, or do I need to, um... I wonder if I can put down a, uh, flame altar real quick. Alright, let's get rid of this. And... I'm trying to go here. Here. So let's make a. Okay, that's a waypoint. I think that's the farm right there, right? Is it? All right, we're looking at it. Kill some bad things first. Oh, 
Ace is already here. <laughs> so is Glax. <laughs> and Glax. <laughs> you guys beat me to it. I'm like, okay, how do I get there? I get there, you guys are doing it. Yeah, so you're getting lot. it with the pickaxe. Yes. So what I wanted to try is if we made a flame altar. Throw that down temporarily. Put it over here, say. Not in a free space. Why not? Oh, because it's on top of me. Okay. And then I... Now, will this just delete it? Or will it um, actually pick it up? Say we... Did the four meter thing and we made it, I don't know. Stone block. We did that one. Underground like that. Right, I think that's just deleting it, unfortunately. Yeah, that just deletes it. How about if we do it with the shapes? And we do like that. Does that give it to me? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well that's too bad. Never mind. Gotta do it the hard way. Had to try though. Extin Always. Extinguish that. I thought I could just come through here and Plow it out like that. Is that going away? Yeah, it's going away. It just takes time. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, I made myself a nice starting point anyway. We can do bees too, right? Beehives at some point. That'd be cool. Yeah, this is way easier than mining dirt and then uh, mixing it with bone meal. Because we need those bones, guys. We need them for the bone walls. <laughs> those are really important. Bone walls. Yep, we need lots of bone walls. Make sure we make it real spooky. Plaid. Nice to see me outdoors working the land. Yes, sir. We're stealing other farmers' good cropland. <laughs> just give fiber, I guess, huh? 
How you doing, Vlad? We're just starting to work on our little town. The first thing I'm doing is just putting in some crops. So we can get those going. We need a bunch of uh, flax so we can get linen for our armor. You can't pick that one up? Oh, no, I can. How are your enshrouded adventures going? This goes pretty deep, too. Plundering the land like any good conqueror. Man, look how rich their farmland was. Their topsoil is deep. We should just be like in Rebel Moon and come down and make them farm for us. Look at this pit. <laughs> I wonder if some point I can make it so I can just ignore stamina. You made it up to the desert area, so there is a desert area. Bad guys are level 18 to 20. We're, wow. we're suffering from the 15s, man. 13s are kicking our butt still. <laughs> yeah. Indirectly, this is leading to armor, so we can handle it a little better. I'm digging a pit so we can have armor. I wonder if we get better picks sometime. They got there copper are, there's, pigs. There's better ones in there now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I took the thing that makes my durability go 50% slower. It's still going to break. You had level 5 bugs kicking your butt? <laughs> yeah, I mean, enough of anything. Like, yeah, you want one elephant-sized duck or a bunch of duck-sized elephants. I hate the bugs less now that I know they're giving us a resource. They're giving us goo. There it goes. Is there anything else here we want to steal? Ooh, look at them. <laughs> that is some rich topsoil. That goes deep. There was some crops up top there on the balcony. I remember that. Yeah, there's a lot of resources for sure. You're over your head, you are. Way over your head. Hey now, hey, hey, I didn't do nothing to you guys. Attacked by bees.
these have little beds that are surrounded by wicker. They're cute. Yeah, it's going to take me quite a while to learn all the things you can do and make and stuff here. <laughs> he made a tunnel. Whoa! Crap! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Uh, hi, Glax. You saved me. <laughs> Look at his armor, man. It's awesome. Can you give me the soil that you got already? Glax? Is he in voice? No. There's no way to type in here, is there? No chat. Oh, he did it. Awesome. Thank you. All right, we're just going to have to leave like this. <laughs> I'm about to send some your way, too. Oh, I just... Okay. I cool. Yeah, that's probably plenty. Because we're not going nearly as deep as they did. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Traveling man! What's up? Monkey? Still deciding what you can make content on? Me too. I'm trying to do at least a few builds so we can I can showcase the builds. But, yeah. I am thinking about what I can do without being annoying. Like, 10 things you didn't know you could do. All right, we are rich in farm soil now. Get some acreage. Aching for acres. <laughs> Ten spoilers you didn't want to know exactly. <laughs> But I'm not going to warn you, you're coming. So this won't necessarily delete stuff, huh? Like, it won't go there. Why not? That one went. You can't see it. I guess it's too underground. I guess let's clear the whole thing out with a ceiling of a different kind first. I'll go back to here to seven. Gotta do some of that first. Oop, I just deleted a little farm spot. Started sim racing. Bought the whole racing rig. Dang. Nice. I can see you doing that. Steamy poo ground. This is rich stuff, man. Fertility. I mean, there are some little building tricks that 
some people don't know. Like, a lot of people don't know you can use uh, pieces to delete stuff. Like, little, little techniques, I think, like that would be cool. Let's see, where else do we want our farm to go? Let me keep it in this area, because once we get past here, that's going to be blacksmith. We might want to just keep this road going. I think the steam is, has nothing to do with the farm soil, though. I think it's just... The game is steamy. Do I got any more flint blocks? Oh, I don't. Oh, there's some. There's some. Uh, maybe we'll take a step down here. Yeah. Nope, that's wrong. There's going to be this way. No, I'm out of flint. <laughs> Remove the land with the same land you would place. It didn't seem to be working. It was going clickety-click when I tried to do that a minute ago. That's why I'm doing it with these first. Yeah, it was not working. See, it doesn't do it right there. Oh, because there's already one there. <laughs> I would do it. Uh, let's see. Let's do one of these. Oops, that's the wrong button. That was the wrong button, too. There we go. But, yeah, I got a lot to learn. I'm very slow at building still, because I'm still getting used to it. It's Tech. Happy to see me playing this game. You love it? Yeah, I love it, too. make the farms go on the other side here too some the blacksmith won't probably need to be bigger than this area oh, let's go fix my pickaxe was oh, this ready oh this is ready are we reaping what we sow this up there. Alright, that's 40. Um, the seedlings. That's the one we just harvested. Let's just keep making that. I should go get some more water. I wonder if we can make a well. All these questions. There's a well up here, though, right? You're not explaining 
uh, properly if there is a different click so one replaces the other. Oh, I just do the uh, the right click first and then the left click. Ah. Oh, there's the bell. That's good to know. Well, the way I'm doing it is going to ensure that because I can snap these ceilings, it's going to sure ensure that it's all like exactly level. Look at this. Our town comes all the way to here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We got the 160 by 160 and I don't think that was really necessary. Although it will allow us to go real tall. That's necessary. Oh, I didn't even fix my pickaxe thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have many streams building stuff here, and then a few of them will lead to showcases. Let's see, so... What do we got to outline the edge of the field? Uh, get this. I know we can make a little fence. We can make that and put that on here. Or maybe I could... Um, uh, is there like a little... What's that? That's a door frame. Is there like a little low rock wall I can make? Only this one. That's not bad. I know it's a door frame, but that could be cute. Instead of making a little fence. You're taking offense to my fence? Mm. Stack those. Hello, Raleigh, to stop being so quiet. <laughs> I'm concentrating on dirt. Hey, it's a rare moment when he's quiet. I'm going to appreciate it. Right. Usually he's off giggling in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. That's a cute little wall. It'll let me know also where I level to. Don't tell anybody it's a door frame. So 
So if I wanted to fill in there, I would just probably uh, go to a little block. Is that what I do? I guess it goes to that one. Yeah. Love it. Something like that. Sweet. I'm gonna go back to these. Remove all these. Got G-Con playing Empyrean, then abandoned him with friends. <laughs> hey, Moist, what's going on? Oops. Oh, yeah, that's where the hole was. I got respect for Empyrean. It's way too nerdy for me. Anyone play Conan still? No, you know, I just took the server down uh, when I was making space to put this one up, but nobody had been on it for a while. Uh, we played the heck out of it for a while, though. But uh, most of us did most of the stuff we'd wanted there. I liked Conan a lot for for the genre. I think they did really good. My difficulty playing Conan is there's too much dark stuff I had to skirt around. Yeah. Uh, the whole thrall thing and the sacrificing people and there's just a lot of stuff I didn't feel comfortable <laughs> doing on stream. So I do all my bloodletting off stream. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wish it wasn't quite so dark. I mean, because games need to be lighthearted. I don't know. I mean, this game has a lot of darkness, literally, but. You know, we're saving the world. So I had to kind of do my own head cannon. Oh, yeah, so you just right click like that. Uh, to make it feel better. For me. Hmm. Just a little bit we gotta get rid of. On top there. Let's see, let's do this with some regular dirt. Right down there. Comes with rocks. Maybe, do we just clear this out with uh, a stone ceiling on top? Must be in the UK with all that rock on the guard. <laughs> yeah, there's some rock, for sure. That did the trick. Yeah, that's a big, nice field. 
And then we'll do another one over here, just this side of the blacksmith. Let's see, get this rock out. Uh -huh. I could have dismantled it, huh? What do you miss? Who are you sacrificing? <laughs> In Conan, they introduced magic. Um, but you had to sacrifice victims for some of the stuff you needed. Alright, we got 60 flax seedlings now. More coming. that song all right so we're gonna turn on snapping for this which is great that makes us win over Valheim already Valheim it was such a trick just planting your stuff you had to manually space it if it's too close it wouldn't grow too far, you were not using your space efficiently. Yeah, I like dire straits, they're pretty good. It's basically seven days to die in space with no jump scare. You're talking about Empyrean? It's definitely got the voxel thing going on, right? You're making, uh, like, spaceships out of voxels. That's cool, you can pick your seedlings up. <coughs> that also wins over Valheim. You had to destroy him if you put him wrong. Now you can repot him. All right, is that all 60? I think so. All right, we gotta get some more seedlings going too. That's definitely gonna be a good start uh, for some flax. Uh, what's next to uh, we definitely want to do mushrooms for health pots I wonder if you have to make seedlings out of those we want strawberries and we want corn at the very least that's what I'm gonna start with need some background music when farming I mean the game provides some background music Hey, what was that? Somebody did something. I missed it. But thank you. Whoever subscribed or whatever you did. Thomas Calamaris subscribed. Welcome, welcome. Alright, we should probably get another one of these going. What's it take to make one of these? I can get rid of the smelter recipe too. Uh, seabed. We need wood logs and metal scraps. Let's just make him put them up there. She's going to move up there too. I think. Although we're going to make her a little hut. Hers should probably be the most rustic of them all. If we had thatch, she'd be in the thatch house. Mm. 
<laughs> Metal scraps and wood logs. Slots available. Oops. Okay. <laughs> what can I put away? I don't need uh, these yellow flowers right now. Yeah, the game provides some music, but it's it's kind of irregular. We got more corn here. Oh, I just filled myself in again, didn't I? Oh, here, let's put that back for now. Best part of Conan was the skimpy clothing and climbing. Climbing was great. I got nothing. I mean, the dudes look, dudes look great. If that's what you're down with. <laughs> dudes in skimpy clothing for sure. <laughs> All right, I had to go with the stairway. The grapple thing didn't work. It didn't work. Now a stairway. Now there couldn't like there has to be a platform I think for you to land on. For you not to just fall straight down again. So there's a little stairway. And you couldn't make now. a platform? Couldn't figure out how to do it in the, in the confined space. Oh, yeah? You couldn't just alternate, like, back and forth? No, because, like, it... Like, wherever it got to... Like, it had to be clear up to that spot. Like, I think if I would have, like, angled down to it... You know what I'm saying? Like, if I, like, took stuff out of the grade to open up the room for it, it probably would have let you do it. But, like, if you're going straight up that spot underneath it has to be open for you to be able to attach mm -hmm. and as soon as you get there you just fall straight back down so if I would have like did a gentle grade up instead it probably would have worked hmm it's farm I'm sure we'll figure out ways to make it work oh for sure it's just it's I think it's just because it's in this little confined space and it's not going to work that way you know, like I said, if I if I had more than like three or four wide to work with, it probably would have been fine. There's at least a way up and down over there now, too. And the fun little tunnel. Head in the lurk. All right, Jay. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time. All right, what else we got? We got these new blocks. These are the city wall blocks. What do those look like? Oh, that's a little too formal for here. What else we got? Uh, she could maybe be the refined wood, or what does the regular wood look like here? It's not bad. Try the regular wood for her. Uh, try to put it down a level like that. Turn the snapping back on. I'm going to give her that space. Let's get a little seed bed down so we can get that working. Then we'll figure out the rest of it. Do like that. I need to get some more water. I wonder if the well keeps filling up. Uh, let's do this with the... Okay, well, we'll start with the corn. Give it some water. Oh yeah, you gotta do mushroom seedlings, okay. Oh yeah, we got trees, nice. Oh, we're gonna need to do the chamomile because that's too hard to find. And shrubs, cool. There's corn. Let's see if the well filled. And then uh, we gotta look if we can make a well somehow. Mm. 
Yeah. It did fill. That was a lot now. I know eventually you run out. We could make these buckets too, but I think they're just decoration. Okay, so there's no well in the hammer. There's no well here. Workbench, we just need a little string. Let's make a little string. Boop, boop, boop. Let's make a workbench. Put that up here somewhere. Just taking it back from the edges because we're going to need to make walls on this thing. Blocks, roof blocks, survival. Comfort. I don't see a well. Could be something they're going to add later. At least we got a well right there. That's not too bad. Alright, do I have any more seedlings on me? I do not. So... Uh, we gotta do more farmland, and we gotta work on her house. And then also, let's rough out where the other houses are gonna go. And, uh... Oh, let's see also if, um... There's more flint now. Do, do, do. I wanted to do the whole, um... Whatchamacallit? The magic block storage, but... I might do that between streams. Because moving storage will be pretty annoying. You're going to have to do that a thing at a time. And I want to build a better thing to put them all in. Spread them out a little bit more. So they're easier to reach them all. Does not look like sense. there's more flint. I'm getting some right now. Okay. I'll bring it back in just a second. No worries. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I am going to cook all the meat we have. I kind of like how when you come out it's so bright. People complain about that, but it's like your eyes adjusting. It's kind of immersive. wide enough of a road, right? Space. Flint incoming. Awesome. And no angles currently. Voxel based stuff is when I kind of assume that's why, you know? Yeah, no, it makes sense. But they, they do like, oh, do a lot of smoothing, though, with the voxels, so... You could smooth the right triangle out. I mean, it doesn't look voxely, which is cool. They definitely... Yeah. 
Do some connecting. That's that. Okay, blacksmith's floor. What should we give him? City wall block? I don't even have enough. <laughs> Can you make a rake yet? I can't. Uh, the rake recipe is missing. I think we got that bug. Yeah, we got the bug where uh, if you advance too fast, there is no thing. Needs a lawnmower. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, here, we're going to hollow out his basement. How big does he need to be? Uh, start with a simple floor plan. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I can make a scrappy rake, but it takes a rake to make the scrappy rake. And we can't make the rake, but we can make the scrappy rake. So there. Uh, should we make this place bigger than that? He's going to need an outdoor area for the kiln and everything. I don't want to go too big. And then he's going to need a little indoor part attached to it. Give him at least that much. We can always expand it. I'm going to see what you need for the city wall blocks. Boop. Boop. But we got a little dungeon going on down there, so... Uh, I want to make sure that every house has a basement dungeon can connect to. Look at all the creepy stuff down here. Things that won't be mentioned. Oh, oh, that's right above our place. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. You don't get a basement. Oh, yeah, you did. I was like, you got a hole in our ceiling? Whoops. Yes, I did. I, mean, I thought I thought we were further I was further away. <laughs> it's a skylight now. <laughs> we do need some skylights. But I wish we had a grate. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. You should just be able to un I don't know how many you could undo at this point though. Press control Z. You could, but I'm not sure how many undos you can do. Oh, the, are there undos? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why? Oh, yeah. I think you can go back five, but I um, already... Uh, yeah, more, I shouldn't more have five, deleted sure. first. Yeah. It's okay. I can fix it. Let's place some soil. Is yeah, that the right level? Further and down a, down a little bit more. Right where that one's at, that's at the right height. That's the right height? The one you have right now is... Oh. There you go. That is that right? Yeah, it looks like it. I like how they instantly have plants on them. It, mm, it might be a little high. One lower? Like one block, yeah. Lower, lower. I wish there was a key to lower with. This. I know, just to go up or down with. I mean, I think if you stood on the side like you did, on the side of the wall there... Go up one more, if you can. Right there should be good. Oh, up one. There you go. Um, nope, it is down one more. Okay. It should just be covering the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Dang. It's funny, because it's not... 
to say straight across either way, so. Q plus sc scroll wheel? And isn't that back and forth? Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. It, it is moving up and down at a bit of an angle, though, too. Get it then. So that's not right? That's right. Oh, no, it's a little low. Yeah. I think we'll just have to use the um, the blocks to level it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blacksmith gets no dungeon. Okay. Got too excited. What about these ones? Are these right? Yeah, I think I had it right the first time. Thank you, It's Tech. If he's lucky, he'll just get a crawl space. <laughs> What he gets. Should have surveyed first. Yep. Filed for permits? Shh. They don't say that word here. That's some bad language, man. It's the family channel. Did I get it all? One more lump. One more lump. Sounds like my son's home early. I wonder if the carpenter over here is going to be able to get one. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Well, there goes that plan. So what the... Uh you need to make city blocks. Oh, it's still a little lumpy, huh? All right, I'll fix that later. Fine. It's fine. Just don't look at it. <laughs> you know it's gonna bug me. <laughs> Stone and dirt. Do lots of those. I love how big these can stack. Oh, these are already ready to harvest. Awesome. Sweet. I'm going to harvest them all and get them spinning. Yep. Uh, save me some. Put them in the uh, the seed bed down there. And I'm still trying to build up enough seedlings. How much do you want me to save? Uh, I planted 60. How many do you get? We'll find out in just yeah. a second. Sixty. Oh, sixty gets you sixty. 
Yeah. Um, but I think you get 10 seedlings for uh, one, if I'm right. And we wanted about three times that. So we want about 180 or 200. So put... Um, uh, the 20 didn't give me that many. Um, put at least 20 in the seed bed for now. So we keep them coming. Too. And that gets spun at the hunter's thing. Okay. Got that spinning. Got 40 spinning then for that. Should give us 20 more linen. Yeah, it just takes a minute to to build up, you know? Yeah. country you no know, because we, we get three miles dirt road around no matter what my my parents right mm -hmm. we get some neighbors out there that were local builders that if you uh if they saw you doing any work they would call the inspectors to make sure permits got pulled for everything because oh. they had to do it for work so everybody else had to deal with it even for personal projects yeah. i will tell you that the uh large deck we put on the back of my parents house was put up very specifically at a very good t at a very specific time and very quickly to ensure that there is no chance of that happening. <laughs> okay, Let's put our stack of water. Again. We have we must have similar game styles we enjoy. Haven't been here for a while, but subscribe for a while now. Cool. Oh, you just found some cool stuff you must have unlocked last night? Yeah, I keep discovering things that I've unlocked. Because it doesn't tell you right away, right? It always just says, like, this and 16 more. Let's try to get this right. We want it like that. And... Like that. There we go. I don't know if this is too fancy for the blacksmith or not. I'll figure that out. Oop, that goes in there. Mm, good enough. Good enough for uh, YouTube work. Trying to raise it a little bit. And then this goes right in there. Yeah. Now go back to snapping. You love how you can go to the journal for a quest you were doing and then be able to drill down to the notes you found? Yeah. I love how it saves all the lore. That's the downside of giving story through notes and stuff. Um, but if you can go back to them, that's great. 
Because, you know, when you're adventuring, sometimes it's hard to have patience to really, like, focus. Oh, am I on the blocks? Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, that didn't that didn't go very far at all. I did use the big Jeez. blocks. And it's sixteen linen per set. Per what? On the adventurer's gear, it's sixteen linen per set. Oh. We'll get there. Yeah. Really should have just now. turned all that into seedlings. 60 again. I'm gonna make a set. Let's use one of those. Put the rest in there. Keep them going. Keep it exponentiating. I'm not doing tomatoes yet. That's for them rangers. We don't care about them. <laughs> This piss is still in here, man. Careful. Oh, whoops. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mining your flint. You better be nice. We love rangers. We'll have, be, have some tomatoes coming right up. <laughs> Where's our beeswax? None of your beeswax. There it is. Way. They need to craft them out. Okay. Yeah. They're just having to tap all the time. And again, for epileptics, that would be horrible. All, right. all the ragged stuff can't actually be used. Or can't be broken down. So I'm going to just delete those. The witch? Oh yeah, no. I don't think, I mean, maybe we'll get some new people putting those on, but. At that point, we should have better. I mean, if the question is, should we make the new people start with the bad stuff? <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, it, it should be easier to get to at that point, is what I'm saying. Like, those materials will be here. Yeah. Okay, so this will be the open part of the blacksmith, and then uh, let's just fill this part in, and then this will be like the little indoor place, his apartment. Uh, of course, it's all going to be roofed and stuff. Uh, so to fill this in, can we do the door frame trick again? Is that what we want to do that? Maybe, maybe we'll just do a block. Uh, still getting fluid with the buttons, the right buttons to press. We want the, I guess we just want that one. Fancy. Is that too fancy for the blacksmith? No, I think it's good. So this, this would be like, you know how they have sort of a more open air part? You know, it'll be roofed, but it'll just be like columns and roofs yeah, yeah. for the forge and stuff. And then this over here will be his little apartment. Something like that. I dig it. Shroud looks got a cool look to it. A little weird, but I dig it. What does? The shroud wood. Oh. 
I'm saving some because I want to see what it looked like. Yeah, it's very dark, huh? Gray. Probably which makes more sense. Like the alchemist, maybe. Yeah. Should we put the alchemist in the mycelium tower? <laughs> my seal would be good I'm sure we're not done opening blocks yet oh God, no. I thought the um, the blacksmith's apartment bit should maybe be uh, the two door style one let me see yeah yeah man it takes a lot it takes a while to get seedlings huh yeah it does good to know so you're right, we should have just let those go. Give you the thing where you overhang the top by a little bit. Like the second floor. Of this? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering if it should be one big rectangle or if I should like extend either the apartment or the open area out a little bit. Okay. I think the, the rectangle thing's fine. Especially if you're going to overhang the next level up a little bit mm -hmm. for the apartment space. I think you'll be going. Cool. Oh, okay. I, was, I mean, I was thinking back here would be the apartment, but he could have two stories. Yeah, that was what, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah, if you overhang that like by like a half on the front or, or whatever right that mm -hmm. the front and back maybe yeah that's how those medieval apartments always went yeah uh, then a door and there'll be stairs inside here What does a column of this material look like? Oh, that's not going to look very good. Oh, uh, nah. That one maybe I was thinking would be like, um, maybe the refined wood. How's that? I mean, people always use stone for columns in these things, but uh, wood actually makes a better column I don't know that looks a little too for refined wood that still looks a little too planky huh yeah I was thinking that too I don't think we do we have a good wood column to a luminescent block <laughs> and then the the rough wood block is like the minecraft twig pillars not minecraft arc uh, yeah I mean the void stuff wasn't bad looking no, it just there was no contrast to it. I mean, the city wall block that it's already made out of is like. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's probably right for the. It's fireproof. For the, <laughs> yeah, I th I think for the forge it makes sense. Maybe to take. I mean, you might be able to take the apartment piece out one more and still be fine. Take it, it out. Have to have like, like bring it out like one more thing. What do you Just mean? Have like a two by two for the. Oh, well, if we're gonna go second story, I think this one should give him plenty of room in here. This is the whole crafting area. Uh, let's see. I was actually thinking of shrinking it in one so that uh, I don't know, everybody always does the little pillars on the outside to add texture. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think well, that, that looks good. Well. I mean, this texture already has so much texture. Especially, yeah, if it comes out. Mm 
Oops. You know what? <laughs> hmm. There are the thinner pillars too. That's right. definitely wrong color for that yeah it's not but, bad but the but thinner it, but the thinner ones might work it needs the color yeah i think the big pillars probably make the most sense for that part like maybe if you are going to do those pieces you do little ones for the aa ron builds with pillars on the corners <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, just by itself, I think that already actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's got the Tudor thing's kind of got that pillar already built into the corner. Of it, right? Yeah. Also, I feel like it's gonna, it takes away from the wood pieces that stick out down here a little bit if you do that. Yeah. I think it coming out on top will provide that texture you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, where were the. There's, there was, oh, scaffolds. Here we go. Wood logs and string. Okay. Let's make some string. That's just on me, actually. If I was pro, I would go into manual crafting. There we go. Let's just turn all that plant fiber into string. Go back to workbench. So, yeah, they, they got these cool scaffolds in here. To help you do the roofs and stuff. Oh, look at you. Are you all adventured out? Mm -hmm. Wow. Would, oh, look at me slacking. Down. I should be planting the seedlings before I do this. Well, there, there's only 10 down there at the time, man. That's why I hadn't brought anything up yet. Um, oh, I, I have 60 well, we on can, me. Who well, we need to fix some of this? <laughs> fix what? Uh, this wood cut into the side of the oh yeah the stairs down yeah there. that's <laughs> oh it did dang it yeah yeah like you can see come here like you can see the light i was like wait what oh <laughs> i keep messing up that's good man let's pull it back one uh that's the foundation for the farmer's cottage Ooh, gotcha you want to just make it one shorter? Put dirt in there? Uh, I don't have any refined wood at all. That's just a regular wood. But you don't, you just, all you need to do is get a single block and delete a row. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. It'll redo the, uh, the edge automatically. Uh, let me just put the scaffolding down because I can. And then I'll plant some flax and we'll get a nice under construction look going on here. Look at that, it's so pro. Let's pull it out a little bit. So sweet. Put one on the other side. Oop. I love the undo feature. Can you remember to use it? Huh? Right. I love the undo feature when you remember to use it. Like when you're like when you don't go too far and you're like, oh I can fix that. It's fine. Can you stack these? I can. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Scaffolding. All right, let's replant these. And yeah, we're using snapping. All right, it's tech. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, 
hopefully see you soon. There are going to be lots of hanging out, cozy built-in videos. Do you want to take a stab at the farmer's building? You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Not yet. <laughs> okay. That one I was thinking we'd pick our most rustic materials. Yeah. There's a grass roof. I know that. It's like wood and grass roof. Some stone, maybe. I have stuff to try to build this. Probably. Is there one of the uh, tradespeople's buildings you were attached to making? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so yet. And if there is, I'll just make another one at some point if they're already made. No big deal. The ones I'm doing right now are not attempting to be the pinnacle of them. I'm just getting something rough down. Yeah, yeah. And then we can refine them later as we learn the building system. All the like real popular builds tend to be just like gable roofed houses that they just added a lot of extra tech texture to. Mm. So I always think are a little silly, but That's the start of the corn. Eventually, her house will just have a whole row of these little seed beds. I think that's pretty good so far. I think the city wall block goes well with the two door. I saw you saw that one I posted in the yeah. Discord room. That was awesome. Wasn't that insane? Yeah. There's someone in Discord who had uh, built into the whole side of the mountain. He said it was a three-person deal. And it, it was incredible. Uh, they, were, they had unlocked blocks that I haven't even seen yet. Make more some more seed Quite beds. Spectacular. We can. Oh, good work. Oh, almost there. Let's do one, two, three. All right, that's what we can do. Some more seedlings. Oh, I got no space. No space. Some tiny little parts you can still see. 
what is it? Uh, alt. Okay, that's the tinier pillar. If we made that out of wood. Yep, built. How's that look? Uh. Uh, maybe this would be good for the refined wood because it looks, even though it's refined, it looks rustic. Yeah, that works for her. Let's see what we'll do for her. Why don't we... Well, that's a different height. Why is it a different height? Maybe it's not. Boop, boop. think is that even I think that's even we'll just have to move the seed beds to match and then go in the corner Two columns first, and we'll build out walls. Maybe. A little bit finicky. it doesn't like it there because of the dirt maybe that's definitely a different height what is it it was a uh, Q that's not doing anything Maybe let's just turn off the snapping. Maybe that'll make it better. Oh, <laughs> it makes it floating. We're going on this line. Almost. On that side of that line, I guess it could be either. Oh, that's like, oh, that's the two sides of the, uh, the one thing. I see. Hmm. That's hard to parse. Uh, why don't we just put our walls in first and then we'll figure out where those go, huh? So if we we're doing walls of this wood... Let's go ahead and do them four meters. Doop, boop, boop, boop. Uh, maybe we'll go back to this wood. Ooh, it's finicky in here. Let's take the 
this out. Now I was gonna bring it one over, so let's turn off snapping and go in one. And we actually want this one to take it back to the edge, I guess. Sure. up these two let's take all that if we can we got too much stuff on us <laughs> all right let's take a break and go put down that farm soil and that will make some room uh we've got some good stuff under construction it's starting to look like a city that's happening Stone box. We were at the same height, right? For this, it wasn't lower. Looks like the farm soil's at the same height, right? Let's just do our leveling. Say you'll need some amber. We do. Yeah. I found 38 of it. Wow. Just in the box or something? Or? No, I was exploring and it was in the shroud. Well, I could go tank, I guess. Yeah, we just need that if we want to make tank armor. And then right. someone else could have this set if I do that, I guess. Put it in this Let's box see. right here. So this is. Adventurer is melee critical, extra health, melee damage, extra health, health regen. Tank is parry power, physical armor points, block, health, health regen. I mean, I still think Adventurer set probably is still the be better set. For everyone at the moment mm -hmm. just because we're trying to like the damage is more of our issue than like when we're getting when we're taking damage we're taking enough that a, a couple extra like block points is probably not going to make a huge difference right yeah we need more health yeah none of us has figured really out how to block <laughs> yeah and the chest piece for the adventure is 120 health perfect yeah well at least we have the um i think we should just have the amber but i just wanted to know where to get it basically yeah like i would like to try tanking probably at some point during this but so i it's don't a, think at the moment it's quite the thing we need to do so it's a shroud thing that's what it is 
Well, that's where I found it. It uh, it looked kind of funny. Almost looked like uh, like brown water in the sun hitting it as it's like floating, mm -hmm. you know, making the waves and stuff. That's what it, that's what it looked like to me. It, it just looked odd, so I hit it and it said amber, and I was like, oh okay, cool. Um, it was actually. I went to the the Revel Revel Wood Fast Fast Travel, mm -hmm. and then I went to the left into that shroud, and I just started looking around. I was trying to find those uh those plants, those blue plants, and that's where I found some. I found some over that way in a chest earlier today. Amber? Yeah, nice. there was two pe one or two pieces in one of the chests in there already. Yeah, I didn't find much. I, I basically mined it all. Yeah, I just had no idea. That I saw Key on Fire had a video on it, and I was like, I'm not going to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> not going to watch it. Are you going to go with, like, ranger armor or, like, the adventurer stuff? I actually started making ranger armor today. Mm -hmm. And the health is so bad. It it dropped my health by, like, half. That's what I was like. Like, I'm like, there's there looks like there's some cool, like, some good stamina benefits. But, like, it's yeah. a lot of health drop. Like, you'd have to really stay out of the fights, I think, if you were to go that route. I have the hood. Um, because it gave me, like crit chance mm -hmm. I think so I have that and I'm sticking with that but yeah I think I want to do health because you know dying <laughs> yep because of not dying <laughs> yeah. I think that's I a solid strategy to die, but I'm so good at it <laughs> that'd be good at something well <laughs> mining and death I guess <laughs> <laughs> what would you consider a sparkable skill I'm a good dyer. <laughs> yeah, basically. You mixed your armor also. Rings help with health a little bit, yeah. I was trying to research if there was some kind of extra bonus for having the full set, but I didn't see where it was. I did not see a set bonus either. Like flax is good to harvest. I'll harvest all this, put it in for the seedlings again. Okay. Um, can you go to the well and get more water to put in there with it? Yep. Thank you. I was so confused at first with how we kept getting all these flasks. Uh, you know, all the the water mm -hmm. skins. Like, why does they keep giving me water skins? So many. At least they stack. <laughs> Hello. Gooping water. <laughs>
One of the things I miss from World of Warcraft is like having a guild of people that actually like dedicated themselves to the professions. So like being like the person that made all the potions and stuff for the guild or being the armorer for the guild. Hmm. I always enjoyed that. I was our herbalist and inscriber. Most of the time. Inscriber? So. What'd that do? Yeah, I do ins inscriptions and stuff. It was a thing that let you do like um for a little bit. It was a thing that let you like you had to like everyone could get certain types of glyphs that would empower them or do special things for them. And you had to make uh, inks and stuff like that. To do the inks, you had to do herbalism. I just brought you 450 more um, flint. New freaking rock. Is there another resource you need? Um, what does it take to make... Uh, let me see. The, I've been calling it the two-door block, but what is it actually called? The, uh, half timber block. Let me look. Clay and wood logs. Do we have a lot of clay? No. I hope with that just a minute. No, we do not. All right. I guess that's my suggestion. <laughs> um, At least we have a a building, or not building, but a heart mm -hmm. over there. Mm hmm. Yeah, by that big old thing of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then let's start saving our bones for the there, bone. The, there's so the, many. The bone walls. Oh, we have. Okay, I know yeah, a lot there's... got turned into into the um, bone meal. Which we actually don't need much of anymore. We need bone meal for some of the. Uh... Uh, for some of the alchemist stuff, I, I think. I'll do it. Um. And then there's definitely got to be some mycelium stuff, too. I did get a little bit of that today. Not a lot. I need a shovel for clay, not a pickaxe. Right. Mm -hmm. All the soil around here is clay, so like <laughs> a pickaxe is not great for that. You know, developers don't do manual labor. <laughs> they don't know how to use any tool properly. What do you mean? Ark did a great job with how. Yeah, you know how I always gri I work. always gripe about that. <laughs> Pains me to use an axe on a rock. Oh my god. It's <laughs> so stupid. Physically hurts me. The funniest part to me is that like if you're gonna like if we're gonna use that like it's wrong though too. Like we should get like chunks of rock from the from the pickaxe. And we should get the flint from the axe if we're gonna do it that way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, stamina. It wasn't a lot in the arc that made sense. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, developers hardly go outside, let alone use tools. So. <laughs> Guess we gotta give him a break. Alright, and then we want terrain. I will slowly get the hang of this guys and get quicker at it. Starting to get there. That's the same height, right? Must have seen the documentary once in their lives. <laughs> like, I don't know why these guys think farmland is so lumpy. Cape on. <laughs> <laughs> it flaps in the breeze every time you swing the axe. Uh, I know I'm working. <laughs> it's like the Red Baron mm -hmm. from Charlie Brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there goes my pick. Okay, that's a bunch of farmland. That's pretty cool. Alright, now I can put all that soil away. for anything, I wonder. What's up? Rubble, 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 rubble. Listen. No, oh. Yep. Oh, copper block. Look at that. That's, that's, uh, highbrow. Start making buildings out of metal. We ain't got enough copper for that stuff yet, man. <laughs> we got Chris. We're fine. <laughs> oh, that's how this works. Make brick. Luminescent. Yeah, you can make metal block. Those metal. copper doors are there, too, now. Oh. That they had in that video that you posted. Oh, yeah? Yeah, at the carpenter. And stone, stone. Tardwood. That looks ugly anyway. Where do you get tar from? Burning food. Oh. Or fireplaces. Mm hmm Campfires, I mean, sorry. 90 seedlings. Getting there. Where's I put there? the other ones up top, by the way. The ones I just harvested. Okay. The kiln mixed tar?
<laughs> I knew this was gonna happen eventually. Fall out. Fall through. Yeah, I cut my I cut my uh, album myself. Yeah. I want adventure armor just because it's called adventure armor. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's fun to wear. It's one of the recipes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, farming's still tedious, but the fact that it snaps makes it so much better. Remember in Valheim, I had all these little systems of like using the fences to kind of eyeball the rows and it's terrible. Let's find this one out. Yeah. Oh, plant. You came after we did Valheim, right, Miss Chris? Yeah. I think Seven Days I to Die was after Valheim. Yeah. I played um, a little bit on my own. It's fun, but the graphics killed me. Yeah. I mean, there were mods you could do to make it higher res, but... I... I... I understand why they did that. But yeah, it, it kind of killed it for me too. I'm addicted to my eye candy. I'm a simple man that way. Corn. Oh, there we go. Let's drink one. Put the rest in there. There's a bunch of clay down here now, monkey. Awesome. I died. For what? I fell off the mountain. The gravity monster got you. Yep. Gravity and inventory are the final bosses. Farming while carrying a shield. Style. Just like the Vikings did. Sure they did. Mm. Okay. Alright, who are we working on? Farmer's house, blacksmith house. Got more clay. I love that the walls have some volume. Yeah. Half meter thick. Uh, let's do the farmer first. That one's easier. Making hers real simple. To start with, anyway. We're going to come back and elaborate more. Let's just get her done. Boop. 
Uh, we need window. I am gonna call it a night. I'll keep watching though. I'm glad you made it on, Raleigh. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. Didn't want to do the to, you know, crucible without you. Just had to do some finals for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> need, need a little stress relief, so you know. Yes, sir. It's a good time. Right, right on, man. Watching. Good Have times. Fun. Bye, bye. Good seeing you guys. Thanks. Yeah. See ya. Let's go ahead and just pull this one upstairs. Can I pick it up? Indeed. And uh, we didn't actually, let's pull her upstairs. So we didn't actually use the summoner for that, huh? Let's grab the wand. Anything else we can get rid of? Kind of need it all. I don't need extra strawberries. Boop. Right, let's eat one. Put the others back. Oh, I don't need to regen health. Um, okay, we got a little bit of space teeny bit. Uh, we needed wood box. I accidentally put them back, I guess. Unless I used them all. There they are. Them and them. Clay. Let's fill up on the logs, too. I need a bigger backpack. And someone's going to tell me there is one already. Is there? We yep. There it is. <laughs> Dried fur and linen. We can do that, right? What happens if you change backpacks and uh, you don't have enough slots? What? I don't think it'll let you make it if you can't. No, I mean when you change it out. If it bleeds, we can, kill it. can I just do it? Swap it on the fly? Oh, I can't. No. No, I can't. <laughs> Some stuff in the box. Boop, boop, boop. We just need a row, right? There we go. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Are you wearing one of those yet, Miss Chris? Absolutely. <laughs> you're like, you're so One of the first things I made. <laughs> you're so behind the times, monkey puzzle. Catch up. I haven't, I haven't made one yet. <laughs> you're like, you're so slow. Love it. Let's keep the flax seedlings coming. Hello. Yeah, I'm collecting a bunch right now. Oh, yeah, we're good, man. We're self-sufficient on flax now. Uh, actually, I only need two more seedlings. Let's see what happens if we just keep this row going. Let's put one flax in there. Oh, I actually have them. We're good. Start making something else. Let's do. 
Oh, we'll do red mushrooms. Where'd my water go? Actually, I need to pick these up first. Get there. And clear storage. Boop, 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 boop. See if this one row of flax is enough to keep us in linen. We could do another row if we need it. I think we do like a four wide row of each of the crops. Eventually we'll catch up. Oh, the little seedling stayed. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we're 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 farming f flax now. We're exponentiating. Hey, hey, Vlad, welcome in. You are welcome to jump in the voice if you want, of course. Flax is the master builder. You step. In the right place, please. What's back? Hello. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, Vlad? Not much. Welcome in. I have excess rings. I thought I should drop them off. Excess rings? Yeah. That's a terrible problem. We can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go downstairs. I'll chuck them in the one of the boxes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome to build something if you got a hankering. There's a ring box. It's like uh, lower right. Bottom left. Lower right or lower left? Because well, it's uh, it's. <laughs> I think lower right. On the right she, side. It. she might have. Right. She might have moved them. No, it's the left side of the bigger boxes, I guess, is what I was thinking. Yeah, lower left of the gear section. Yeah. Wow. For some reason, it always let me transfer them. Oh, no, it, did, it was just taking a while. Yeah, there shouldn't be tribe silliness or anything like that, right? No, nah, it was just lag. Have you been doing some building? I've been doing a lot of exploring. Yeah, we did a bunch of that too. I've been trying to alternate it a bit because uh, we could just explore. Cause there's so much of it to do. Oh, it's, the map is massive, man. I thought now that we've unlocked a bunch of stuff, we should get some building going too so people don't lose faith that I'm going to do some. No, I built one building and that was it. That was it? Yeah. And the rest has been exploring. It's not everybody's thing. I, don't know. I definitely like building. I just need to explore it more. Hey, I just want to find like all the blocks first before I start building. Yeah, it's kind of my thing, too. I thought about that, but... I can always go back and change some of them up. You didn't happen to bring a rake, did you? No. I thought I had the recipe for a rake, but I, I seem to not have it. Yeah, it's a bug. Some people say if you remove the forge and something else, you can get it back, but um, I, th at the rate they're fixing things, I'm, I don't fear that they won't fix it. Yeah, we'll probably all just wake up one day with a rake in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, this rake in my hand. I don't remember that.
Yeah, I thought about getting all the blocks first, but then then I thought, you know what? I should just start. This is a uh, there's gonna be more building later. Um, and then I can make them special for my base. There's so many points of interest now, but... <laughs> I know, it's kind of I crazy. I wish there was a way to, like, clear some of them. I think we just have to clear our minds, free ourselves from thinking we have to clear them all. That was some very deep, deep Buddhist sort of shit then. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. So is the, the, um, the scaffolding part of the build? Oh yeah, it stays forever. It's gonna be one of those builds that's never finished. Wait, I got heaps of them. <laughs> it's RP, man. No, it's it's to help me put the roof on, of course. And it's because they were there. I just wanted to use them. It makes me gives me excuse to to you know to have ADHD and go do something else because it looks like it's just under construction. Your farm's looking snazzy. Yeah, it looks like a real farm. I feel man. like I should give you guys one more thing for the farm. <laughs> one more thing? What'd you got? Um, might have to put a box down for me to do that. How do we? Can we share stuff? Yeah, you um, you right-click and gift on whatever it is. Did you get it? <coughs> Excuse me, I was coughing. Yeah, sugar cane. Wow. Fancy. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And another one. It's all found in the desert. Bell pepper? Getting fancy, man. Bell pepper. There's all kinds of shit up there as well. Um, Don't worry about the swearing, guys. He's just speaking Australian. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you only knew the people I hung out with. <laughs> I, I don't say the C word, so you're all right there. Yeah. I speak Australian in real life. So, I'm sort of. Okay. At least I, you know, I'm fluent in some of the words. How do you make a dirt road? I know we unlocked dirt road, but do, do I have to make like dirt road blocks or something like that? Yeah, I had yeah, some. I, so. I put some dirt, uh, dirt road blocks in here. I got 84 of them. I think you just dig up dirt road and then place it back down again. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dirt road block. At one point, it announced I had unlocked it. Yeah, uh, where, the, where you got the, um, that little structures near you, where you got the, like, the archer section, mm -hmm. you got dirt road there to farm. It was, it was like, later on, too, it's like I had unlocked all these other blocks, and then it's like dirt road. <laughs> it's like, it's advanced. Yeah, the food is going to be where it's at for us, as far as advancing Ooh. and surviving. I got some pretty decent buffs. Yeah, that's definitely from Valheim. Vegetable soup plus four dexterity for 40 minutes. There's the roof. I need a copper pickaxe. This is ridiculous. Do it. <laughs> if anybody gets a copper pickaxe, it would be you. 
<laughs> Give your gatherers the best tools right away. Look at that. How fancy is that? She gets a little dirt road for her back door. No luxury spared. Hey, Father Jimbo. Sunday, yeah, we got the sneaky cheeky Sunday stream. This is kind of a cozy stream. Drinking a beer and making a farm. You never really miss them. They're always there for you later. What the fudge? I got an alchemist in my hot bar. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a see a doctor about that. <laughs> That's very strange. Yeah. Out of context sentences. I think it's the whole um, being in Australia and being in on an American server, and it's just it—it it just can't handle it. Yeah, we got some Australians in our community. They always. Definitely let us know how bad their ping is. But we definitely get some folks playing with us. Yeah. You guys got that one Cat 5 cable going under the ocean? Chewed on by sharks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got the night going at 15 times. I like how you can speed it up even if one person's sleeping. There you go, 40 times. 40 times. Zooming through that night. You know what? I can make some beds for everybody. That would be sweet. I'm in a hole, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't jump out of the chat because I'm going to get ready for work. Well, thanks for jumping in, Vlad. Come on anytime, man. No worries. Yeah, I'll get some more rings. I'll drop them off. <laughs> Folks should uh, definitely check out Vlad's channel on YouTube. He does a whole bunch of building and arc, making circles and making things at angles and all that crazy stuff. I'm not breaking it. I'm fixing it. Well, we breaking for us is like it's a term. It's it's like something you strive for. Breaking a game is a high honor. Is that? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, a Raleigh who that. streams with us couldn't do it. here, his thing was always doing the upside down toilet and sitting on it. Nah. It's very sad that it. I don't know. Can you do that now? Yeah, I know you can do like a 45 degree toilet. <laughs> you, can, you can do a 90 degree toilet. Yeah, 90 degree toilet is yeah. pretty good. Yeah. You just can't do it upside down anymore. Ah, uh, so sad. They, you um, know, it makes you think, like, the, what happens uh, well, to the poop? It was the water well they fixed. But then again, Scorched Earth hasn't come out yet, so there is a chance for them to break it again. Please. Yeah, that's where the most yeah. interesting things happen. It's when they fix the building system, you know, it's harder to do some of the more interesting things sometimes. I, I don't think it's, they've ever fixed it. That says that that's the thing. Like they they never even fixed the first one. They just scrapped it and started a new one. Yeah. They didn't know how to fix the first one. Well, or yeah, they didn't know how, or they were unwilling to, because they just wanted to keep throwing more features on. They should have just added those features to the already existing building system. Yeah. Because it's just made it boring now. It's just it's, there's no fun in it. I mean, I still enjoy it, but yeah. 
Anyway, I'm uh, gonna bounce. All right. See you later. All right. See ya. What was I going to do, guys? Oh, I was getting some fiber to make the fiber roofs. I have to make some space in my inventory. What can we get rid of? Linen. I don't need linen. I wish there was a way you could label chests so you could like make a chest for yourself for your personal stuff. Or just make it easier to know what's in what chest, too. Mm hmm. I already have a plant fiber roof, roof block. Dyer gear. There was indigo that they say was make for making dyes, so. That gives me some hope that that's coming. All right, let's see about putting a roof on this thing. Gonna send the water into the field or send it backwards. Sending it into the field makes the most sense, except unless we're gonna flood it. I guess it depends on how much it rains. Alright, let's get back in here, tab. And roofs. So all the roofs the same angle? Yeah, it doesn't look like they have shallow roofs yet. That's pretty steep. This is what you need the scaffolding for. Stick it up. Oh, you can stick it on top of that one. Take the lower one. Maybe turn off stepping. Oh, yeah, have it overlap a little bit on the side. Move that one. I guess that's good. It's so steep. want to just make a gabled roof. Those are boring. I was thinking we'd flatten it from there. Have you tried the scaffold? Hey, Nicholas. I got some all the way over here. <laughs> that should help, right? That one floats. Yeah, I put those over there for that roof and then started working on this roof. Because I'm smart. 
I'm so smart. Where'd they go? Right there. Put one on top of that one. Look at that. What's going on, Nicholas? How you doing? Well, that's cool. They blend together. Is that what we want? <laughs> Unless you can get a little loft in here or something. Fair warning though, I have seen some walls can be opened. Like the secret walls? I've seen those. Oh, now I need some more of this, this tile. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm going to use those down below in the, uh, the jungle bit. Not jungle. It's the wrong word. Dungeon. Let's go make some more of those. Did you find one where you get the blacksmith? I don't remember. Honestly. Hmm. So tall. I didn't necessarily want her place to be that tall. I wish we had a 60 degree roof for that. Anyway, let's go make some more roof bits. Oh, let's put this down so I can clear a slot. Give her this. Here we go. Yeah, I was going to leave this side open to the farm. And then, yeah, that makes sense. Then maybe up there will be her little closed loft area, a little warmer. Yeah, we did actually we did find the secret wall where the blacksmith is or was now he's here Doesn't give you that little timber thing on the side, huh? A secret wall in the village? I wonder if we found that. May have. 
The beginning already seems like so long ago. That's wrong. Q. There we go. Q scroll wheel. I love how they just blend. That's so awesome. Doing a floating roof before I do the bottom. <laughs> That's fine. How far are we overlapping? Good question. I think this we could just snap, right? Yeah. Stop snapping. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> I guess I should have just made her a gabled roof. That's so boring, though. And dwarfs are a little hobbit hole. All right, fine. It does need to overlap a little bit more on this side. Could just make our hobbit hole bigger. <laughs> doot, doot. Snap. Go down. Oh, oh, it became that. I don't want that. Cool though. Trying to scroll it down. Ouch. Oopsie. I'm trying to get up on this first level here. Did I get it right? Did those meet in the middle? I do. I think if you get it right, there's like a beam in between them. Scrolling is not really working right. That's not it.
That's it. That's what we want. Beautiful. Too far. Not far enough. Hmm. Roofs, they say, are the one funny thing. Yeah, is that it? That's it. Sweet. Yeah, maybe I should have made her house somewhere else. But this is where it's at now. a little bit more in the front. Yeah, let's take it down a little bit. Keep that rain off. That never actually rains. There's some people really asking for weather in this game. I'm like... Stop it. Last thing we want is for it to be raining when we want to go adventuring. Look at that. One little corner. Nice. All right, it overlaps like that much there. Might be the same on the side, it's hard to tell. Let's take the scaffold out. Ooh, not the harvest, but the scaffold. Oh, we're full. Probably get away with putting the plant seed beds in now. So let's do that. Backpack. Leaving it open in front. Maybe leave that space open. I know I'm missing a pillar there. That's all the ones we've made. Let's go ahead and uh, bring her in here and see what she thinks. Emily Frey. I'll put 
put you right here. She sheltered? I think so. Yes. Almanac, plants and seedlings. What? Oh, we can make sugar now. Oh, I look at that. All right, she wanted a kettle. I have to go get that somewhere. Energy. We can make sugar or popcorn. Oh, she needs that to do it. Oh, that's another thing she's going to send us for. Okay. It's really far away, too. Okay. To make the popcorn, we need that, too, huh? The fireplace? Uh, I mean, that's a different thing, but yeah. Kettle. Is the kettle far away? Yeah. Of course. Oh, she spins around at least to face you. Okay. All right, let's fill this in. Why don't we use this wood to match? They're kind of out of place there. But and let's keep using them. Uh, alt, skinny. Five. I like that it remembers the last material you used. Okay. Well, let's see how that looks up here. We would want these guys, right? That's a small one. Let's do the... 4M9. That's right. Flip it. That's not right. Turn off snapping. Uh, it's a little weird how they step them. I guess that's the voxel thing. I don't know. How do we feel about that there? It doesn't really match, huh? I guess maybe we'll just give these up and turn them into this kind of wood. We got anything else? We'll give her bones. <laughs> bones, stones. I guess we'll just do the same kind of wood. Yeah, we gotta open up some more blocks probably. All right, we'll do those. What happens if we put them in like that? They stick through? Yeah, they do.
All right, sweet. That's your little place. So do we need to change these? I think we do, huh? I'll make it more uniform, which I'm not really into, but these just don't match. She's the farmer lady. She's not pretentious. Get them in here. Step on the seedlings. Sweet. Put the beam across the top there. One in front. The farm is looking so lush. Uh oh. It's that nighttime thing again. Whether we need to make some other things. Um, she needs a bed. Animal fur, crude mattress. Torn cloth. Alright. Torn cloth and animal fur. We can RP her house out for the most part later. This will just help me have a place to sleep when I'm working up there. Mattress craft, bed craft. Uh, we'll make her a stool. She wants a real fireplace, but she wants fancy stuff for it. 
guess we'll get there. Make her a table. And I think we got a couple doors in the thing already. Somewhere. There you are. Let's clear up that slot. Oh, I don't have any place to put them. <laughs> I got another row in my backpack and I'm still out of room. Here, we're not going to make anything with bricks right now. Let's put those in here. Uh, let's put them there. Take those. I don't know why she needs doors when this is open. we should give her some little nook that's indoors. Turn the snapping off, huh? Like that. Oh, not quite. Oh, that makes it look so crowded, though. Maybe one smaller, huh? I'm going to go visit some of the POIs and look at them more carefully. Let's see how they're doing their building. Some of those look really cool. What do you think, guys? Should we give her this? She has a little sheltered place for her bed. I don't know. It's almost better without it. Yeah, then we give this thing the windows. And there'll be space for the fireplace and stuff right there. I'm gonna roll with it for now. Not enough space. How much space does there need to be around it? Well, that might kill this idea. Oh, there we go. Oh, what does it like on this side? Works over there, though. That's fine. Oh, there's that thing hanging there. That's what it is. <laughs> Broke it. <laughs> I should heal though, right? I didn't actually break it. 
that's just RP. We'll see. There's no way to see that it's broken. Yeah, see, it's healing itself. Okay, uh, back to the bed. Oh, yeah, still not enough space. Whatever. I'll put it there. Okay, and then we'll put just put the door. Here. And then over here to keep the bad things from coming in, huh? Sweet. That makes sense. We'll have to move her over a little bit. She's in the way. And then if we're going to do the windows, she needs one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. I didn't go through there. But yeah, if we're trying to give her a uh, weatherproof space, I should put some window frames in here. I think we can make those in here, huh? Window frames. Do we got those? Windows. Oop. So her place is kind of a demonstration of the most basic materials, right? And we'll kind of move up with each of them. The farmer gets like the tier one mats. Not that farmers don't deserve nice places, but just as a little demo. These are sweet. It's funny, they got frames even though they don't actually have glass in them. They just pretend. Gave her a little stool. Wonder how much comfort we can get in this one little place. Man, she's got a bench. I was a little disappointed you can't sit on the benches. Eventually, she's gonna have a little nightstand and dresser and stuff, so. Put those there for now. Well, that's a big old table. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think she's got space for this. Let's give this to the blacksmith. Where are his stairs gonna go? Yeah, let's put it over here. For now. Well, the blacksmiths will probably get a finer table. I know. You want your cooking pot. Sweet. Let's pull this down. And the farmer's got a hut. simple house I 
I need to unpin that seedbed recipe a long time ago. Okay, that's all the water we can get for now. This flax is ready to go. All right, so let me see this one. Give me the flax one. Split that. This one. Make some strawberry seedlings. I gotta choose them. Recipe. Strawberry, go. Yeah, let's unpin. Boop. Come back soon. Okay, that one's going. Oh, it needs farm soil. Okay, the other ones didn't need that. That's fine. We can get some farm soil. What are we going to need for the mushroom? Bone meal. Okay, they each need a different thing. And the corn. Oh, we should get the sugar cane going. What's that need? Can we even do it yet? Blind. There it is. Farm soil again. And water. And what else? I guess the corn. That one just needed water, right? Mm -mm. I'm so blind. Okay. Uh, so we need bone meal, farm soil, and more water. Bone meal. Farm soil. See if there's any more water. Nope. This is actually two to one, so there's not even enough water in there. Let's put the farm soil in here at least. And store stuff in these too, that's cool. We're also gonna need to get the bell peppers going. Let's put that in with the sugar cane. Water and farm soil. Oh, let's split that soil, huh? Goes over here. Boop. This one wanted the bone meal. That's going. That one wanted the farm soil and more water. All right, as soon as we get more water, we'll be in business.
Oh. I got a rake. Did somebody give me a rake? Oh, I gave you water. Mm -mm. I have a rake. <laughs> oh. I don't know how I got a rake. Oh, I guess... The blacksmith, huh? Uh, okay. it's just in my inventory. Vlad They're said he so didn't happy. have one. I am happy. Thank you for the water. Oh, she was she was so happy she gave you a rake. You think she just gave me a rake? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. It came from somewhere. I looked in her inventory a couple times. It's still not in the table. All right, well, I got one. Might as well turn it into a scrappy rig. Can I dupe it somehow for everybody? It's a very special item, apparently. gonna take us a while to get them going but we have them all right we can harvest the flax we'll see how much we get and that's how many seedlings we need to make each time it's gonna be plus one because we had that one hole if we can't make popcorn yet then uh, we'll just let the corn be for now. Looks good there. Eventually, we might do a little dirt path coming out from here, something like that. Let's see. All right, what did we get? We got... That's the seedlings. We got 112. So, if... This gives 10. That means we need uh, 10 times 12 is 120. Is that right? What's well, so we only need to put 12 in here each time? That doesn't seem right. I guess it is. I'll leave those in there for now. And put the rest in to be linen. Yeah, the village is coming together. We're actually using it already. A farmer was the first to actually move into her home. Making our flax and our corn and getting our vegetable breeding going. That's all we got for that right now. That should be more than enough. need more water and then we'll get these going Hello. 
Reflex. Hey, cool nerd. We have been busy. It takes a village. Front roof. Could come down a little bit. I'm gonna leave it for now though. Gives her a better view of the farm. It's lopsided on purpose. Alright, let's see. Let's work on the blacksmith. Let's get another workbench. Benches in each of these buildings, so you always can grab one. There's quite a few made. I keep making them yep. when I'm out. <laughs> I'm pulling those. I can actually go out here as part of the blacksmith area all right cool nerd thanks for stopping in saying hey okay so we're gonna raise this area um and I made this so that I could make more of the half timber blocks. Let's see what the stairs of those things look like. Right after I use the bathroom, I'll grab a second beer. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, yeah, so I think we're going to try to finish the blacksmith and then we'll call it a day. That should be a stream. I like making the little houses for each of these guys. Gives us uh, lots of little building projects. And it's good warm-up for when we actually start our own base. Like our, our individual base. So let's see. Let's figure out how the stairs are going to go. Let's just pick this up for now. 
We'll need to get rid of some windows. Uh, but yeah, starting to get a little bit more fluid. With, uh, using the build hammer and everything. It went 2M stairs. And how are we going to do this? We're going to make a little landing, maybe? Aren't we up? Boop, boop, boop. It's going to come to about there. Oh, those are just the regular wood. That looks terrible. Okay, let's try it with those. Those are all right. Yeah, man, well, next time I go to a P POI, I'm gonna be looking a lot harder at how they're doing all that. Stairs look good. And we're gonna steal some ideas. Let's get a landing. That would be six. And then this will help us get some height. I guess we gotta undo snapping. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this moves over. Pushpin, what's going on? Welcome in. Got a, a late night Sunday stream going on. Doing some chill village making. We got a village of people working on stuff. I'm working on the blacksmith's house right now. Go if it's just, if that's snapping, I guess that's the snap level, right? I snap that to that. Yeah, but that's not right. All right, let's bring that out one more then. Move that and that. Fred K, what's up? Long time no see. I was watching you when you were playing Icarus after that I was busy moving to Dubai. Wow. And digging this game? Yeah, me too. The building is awesome. How is Dubai for you, Fred? That's a big move. Yeah, I'm going to lose myself in this building over time. You know it's going to happen. Okay, so that actually works. I was thinking of removing a few blocks here. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. If we do that, 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 and that. And then we gotta redo this. Boop. I'm pressing remove. Oh, this is like. It's own thing now. Because we took some bits out. Yeah. Okay, let's just put the bits back. Oh, that's terrain. Uh, let's do... Which one is it? That one. Boop. 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 Yeah, okay, that's just how it goes.
So we're going to want it to actually go out a little bit too. Uh, let's turn off snapping. Q brings it up. How much? Do like those medieval buildings always stick out a little bit. Let's try that. Oh, not there. We have to do that block by block there. That's more than the other one. Still more. Yeah, we'll see how that looks. It's really nice, but hard to find a job. I would have assumed that you moved because you had a job. But one should not assume. Actually, you know what? I can do this still with the other piece. Is this going to make us hit our head? <laughs> we may need to get rid of some of that. Yes. Alright, we'll delete it block by block and add it block by block. What you can do, it's so awesome. That's cool. Still needs a little bit more to go. these in. Well, let's see how we feel about that. Yeah, that's a decent overhang. It's looking nice and medieval. I wonder if there's a piece I can use that will uh, make this a little quicker. Maybe that one? A little too big. How about that door bit. Yeah, that's cool. Look at this custom building. It's awesome. Oops, that's all right. We can fix that. Boop. Boop. And boop. Noise. All right, what kind of roof we're going to put on this one? Uh, we're going to roof this bit, and then we're going to raise this up. So that one... Roofs. We're going to use those shingle tiles, maybe. Uh, we got. That's probably appropriate for this, right? Unless we want to make it flat. That front bit. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. Might be fine for that part. 
They just get so big when you slope them. Here, let's uh, let's get a little inspiration. It's, uh, medieval blacksmith building. All right, they got it flat and then sloping down. I can dig that. Yeah, I can do it like that, or this one does the opposite. But yeah, we're doing doing with the little outdoor part. Okay. So if we did that and then put one of these there. I wish the flat big bits got the textures too. I just need a shallower roof, but they're going to be adding stuff. So I'm sure that will come. to tell where it lines up i guess that's lined up it just this gets that little edge and the flat roof doesn't uh but we'll live with that it doesn't quite go all the way back yet either um i guess we go flat again short on pieces all right what do we need to make these Oop. stone and flint how long do you think before other games rip off the building mechanics well, I mean, they all kind of riff off each other, don't they? Like, this is sort of a combination of several different building mechanics. And so it kind of all works together. I mean, this is voxel plus, you know, arc rust kind of building combined. So it's all voxels, but basically they're using sort of blueprints to um, turn the voxels into standard shape, you know, piece building. I guess, was Rust the first to do that? Probably not. They probably took it from somebody else. And so, you know, they're just kind of riffing off each other. So you can say, well, who did they rip this off from? Yeah, I like the evolution a lot too. Uh, so we're going to go to this and six and this one, this one was the city block, right? Uh, that one. Boom. All right. I'm off for the night. All right. Ace. 
Thanks Me for coming too. through again. All right, y'all. See you later. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Later. Let's see if we can get this in here. if you put that there. Not quite. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's got to adjust a few things. Oops, I didn't mean to take that one off. Let's try to take that one off. Oh. Wait. There we go. I was actually there. So forgiving too that you can just get stuff back. That's right, right? I think. What are they doing underneath here? Actually, one needs to go one down. Okay. Sorry for running around with this big piece in my hand. In case of that one. I'll take it down there. There we go. Back up. Let me do it like that. Yeah. Okay, then this one. Sweet. Think. Oh, yeah. All right, and then this. Just gonna put a little piece in there, probably, right? Um, let's go to what do we want? What's that? That's a single roof block. What's that do? I don't think that's what we want. I just want a little angled bit to go in there. 2M angled bit. How about that piece. I'm gonna pretend it's that. Your son has been big in the Valheim. Saw your first episode of the game and got very excited. About building underground. I clearly got very excited about building underground. Um, yeah, that's my favorite part of this game right now. All right, we want two M roofs, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Or maybe can we can we stick in a four M roof? Is 
Is that it? I wish I could see above me. Oh, that's it. I think we got it. Pretty much. This doesn't quite line up, though. That's hard. I guess it really needed to come out one more, huh? Dang it. It's kind of a judgment call with those flat bits, because they just don't have that side piece. Let's try again. Yeah, that's it. And now we just gotta redo this bit. Oop. We snap it to this. Uh, that's almost it. We know it. We just need to. Maybe we'll just manually delete this bit. 2M roof. And get this. And. Oh, crap. <laughs> Not it. Fly! Hi! So weird getting up in the morning. Having you stream. I mean, it's only. 11.30 for me at night. You went to bed early this time. Or you didn't sleep very much. One or the other. Okay, so I think we need these to delete manually, right? Oop. Oh, no, that makes it weird. Making it weird. I guess I should have left it alone. Did I put that back? Yeah, I don't understand those quite yet. All right. Bit early. Moods have been shellfish lately. I guess there's no way to get that perfect. What do we even want to do there? Maybe we should have wrapped that around. Either that or put a back wall on it. Let's try one more thing. Take that off, take that off. Can't leave it alone. No, it's not the MP way. We're gonna get it perfect. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Like the flat on the edge. Hopefully this is what you mean. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. We didn't get the thing here. Well, this is what's messing it up. Uh, can we just delete bits of this? Do that and then put that back, right? Just learning as we go how this works. Two M roofs. Is that there? Oh yeah, look at that. Heals itself. Oh, that goes way far over. <laughs> 
I should have just done that over there. Crap. Um. Well, dang. Yeah, we should probably just put that roof over there. Or I could make the building bigger to fit the roof. I could. I mean, this is the blacksmith area. Why don't we get the things that are going to go in there and see how big it needs to be. Basically, he's getting all this stuff. So yeah, maybe it needs to be bigger. Get all this crap. And... Pick this up. Get all this crap. that up. And this. That up. Like the two different slopes of roof. Yeah, me too. I mean, yeah, we could expand the building. Just move these columns out to here. Let's see. Let's just throw these things down and see if it deserves to be bigger. I guess that's all he has right now. I don't know if he's going to get anything else. This guy. He's got this guy. It doesn't really need to be bigger. Honestly. It's too small. <laughs> I think it's actually fine. Unless he gets more stuff later. He might. way to orient this. It's like that. It's just unsafe. <laughs> Definitely go bigger. I mean, we've got a ton of space. Alright, fine. In case he gets something else, we need to find him. Right? Hey, Warlord. How you doing? All right, so if we went bigger. Oop. I don't want that. And that's got to be in the city wall block. And we want that one. Snap even with this one. And well, this needs to come to here, right? Not even that far. Maybe a little bit farther. Like there. And then this goes in the corner. Let's put it just inside actually. It makes it a little bit better, huh? Nah, they're all out on the edge. Fill some blocks in there. And that goes, and that goes. Huh. 
guys want bigger, we got bigger. So I'll remove at some point. Maybe now that I've altered it. That's the roof. Yeah, it's going to make me delete it. Bit by bit now. Once you alter it, it doesn't fit the blueprint anymore. Well, let's do these first. Do that last. Room for expansion. Oh, wait. Boop. Stop snapping. Because we, uh, there we go. Something like that. add them. So flexible. If you watch me build for a little while, Lai, you're going to want to play this game. It's too cool. Look how big you made me do it. It's your fault. Whoop. Oh, look at that. Where's the front of it? Right there. And you're not sorry. <laughs> boop, boop. So much empty space, though. <laughs> Here, let's bring this forward. Doesn't have to be all the way back there. Bring it in here. You can be in the middle. All right. Let's bring the dude in. We didn't finish his top house yet, but let's bring him anyway. Where are you, buddy? Tell me if you think this is good enough. This is for Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. He goes here, we'll put it right in the middle. A workbench would be near the kiln. Well, that's the, uh, this is the forge. This is the crucible kiln, and that's a workbench. You know what? I think I'm the only person on. I could sleep and pass the night. 60 times speed. This reminds me of night of Minecraft, where you used to have to, like, Ask everybody else to sleep in chat. I don't need these anymore, probably. Although they add to the RP. What's up, buddy? How do you like your house? We're gonna need to make torches and stuff. Alright, let's finish this house up here. 
This should be pretty straightforward, I say. I shouldn't say that. One, nope, one, tab, 4M, Windows. Look at that now. These look the same on both sides, right? I think so. Boop. Boop. Hmm, maybe in the middle. Just do wall. It's gonna make itself look good. It does. So good. And boop. Should they get another window? Can't really go over there. Oh, I gotta make more of the blocks. More half timbered blocks. Boop, 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 boop. See if that's enough. Tab. Well, for light's sake, let's go ahead. And add more windows. And then we'll add these bits in between. We could do it that way or we could just uh, go to the 2M. Perfect. You don't be like that, are you? One snap. It doesn't quite fit. Let's just put a big one in there. Or we can put down the window. Why not? I like windows. Okay, we have one looking down at the forge. And there. The amount of swearing you do. Oh, you know me, I'm super chill. I don't need to swear when I'm having fun. That's wrong. Uh, where'd I go? Where'd I go wrong? This whole thing's wrong. There we go. I love how it all heals together. We're gonna have to make all the furniture for it and stuff. Not tonight, of course. Let's get up here. And finish the roof. Is the roof gonna overhang? Maybe. If I get lucky. Oh, that looks good. I did get lucky. Sweet. Super clean. Yeah, it's so forgiving. No swearing necessary. Is that the same amount of overhang? It's a little bit more on this side, huh? We gotta pull it in a little bit. That's looking sweet, though. That's looking legit. Yeah, we gotta pull it in a space or two. Alright, 
Let's remove this. Boop. Back it up. Back it up. Is that right? That's probably right, right? Right, right? Yeah, that's right. That looks good. So we just got to fix the uh, the middle bit. big so we use a smaller one go 2m oh they're gonna be shorties though it's fine we can make it work when you overlap like this it only uses the amount it needs Ouch. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself from a thousand falls. Turn off snapping. Just Q. There we go. Don't fall off. Oop, I got the wrong thing. Boop, boop. Oh, there it is. Sweet. All right, and then we got to figure out... Uh, figure out this corner. I'm going to go back to 4M... No, I need to go forward some. Come on. Roofing is the hardest part in this game. Yeah, it's turn snapping off. Let's try that, see if we get lucky. Oh, nope. Not lucky. Oh, that might be it. Is it overlapping the right amount over there? Too much. Too much. Almost. One higher. One more back, huh? Hey, Sir Garwin. Yeah, I'm just trying to finish this blacksmith house. We're very close. We're very close. That might be it. That might be it. So we gotta go down here and look. Ah, oh, no, still out one too far. I guess I just gotta close that gap right there. Last time I closed it, it seemed like it was too much. This roof is just a finicky bit, but uh, we nearly got it. There. 
That's going to be it. I know it. That's it, right? I think that's it. All right, so now we just got to fill this in with the 2M uh, roofs. Boop. Lovely. Feel it. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to cap the top off somehow. Is it going to be this piece? Oh, yeah. That's going to work great, huh? Put this piece first. Oh, that's going to be lovely. All right. Uh... Did we get away with, oop. I forgot if we got away with a whole one of these here. <coughs> Excuse me. Or if that was too much. I think it was too much. But we'll remember in a second. Dangerous roof in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. One try. So this one's got to go. Whoa. <laughs> Double jumping is great for this. So we just got to piece it in with these. All right. There. Lovely. Oh, yeah. This is my lucky side. All right. And then uh, let's get this to work here. And I think we're golden. <laughs> Love these little ones right on top. We're going to leave it just like that. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's pick up our scaffold. Which we never really used. Hey! We got the little blacksmith house. Now we just need a carpenter, an alchemist, and a hunter. Which we'll do all the night. No, just kidding. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do for the night, but that's pretty sweet. He's got a spot. Does he count as sheltered here? Uh, does it say? Yeah, well, he doesn't say he won't make things, so he must be sheltered. Yeah, he'll get a bunch of furniture back there and stuff. It's a little asymmetrical, but we like it like that. That makes it more interesting. Cool. Yeah, so we started just with this, the little hobbit hole that goes down into this whole area. And, uh, yeah, we're going to make a whole little dungeon thing around it. Morali was working on his place here. <laughs> he got really uh, attached.
attached to this rock. So this is his rock. <laughs> he got a little space in here. Look at that. Little door. How cute is that? <laughs> in the rock. Down there, we'll make more creepy dungeon areas and stuff. But yeah, the alchemist is going to go here. Uh, the carpenter is going to go here. And the hunter is going to go back in here somewhere. Got creepy shroud stuff right there. It's come a long way today from being just a little hobbit hole. Let's go ahead and plant some more flax. Got all these seedlings now. Um, oh yeah, we got to get our other stuff going here. Let's go get some water. That's what we're going to be short. So we only can get so much water at a time. Cheers to a nice house. All right, that's all we can get for now. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we'd actually get building done today because we got distracted venturing a little bit I will have to get his copper and stuff going yeah it just gives a certain amount of water per time I'm gonna have to put a nicer block here eventually but uh, let's plant some more flax in fact I think we can um, just harvest all this flax now This is still making, right? Yeah. I think that's the amount it takes. Let me do some experiment here. I think it takes 12 to make enough for that row. So it'd be 12 of these and 24 water. Where's my water? Is that all the water I got? So I need seven more water there. I wish there was a better way to uh, split. Let's see if that gives us 120. It should, right? It's 10. Takes one flax each, two water. That should be right. And then how's our other stuff going? Hey, we got some strawberry seedlings. All right, that needs a little bit more water. Uh, but let's save it for the other thing. Plant those. So I want to get... Uh, is that our mushroom seedlings? Oh, yeah. We got mushroom seedlings now. Sweet. Those just use the bone meal. They don't need water. And then, oh, we got our sugarcane seedlings. Nice. Uh, let's get our beet bell pepper seedlings. Fossilized bone dust. Well, forget about that. <laughs> oh, when you, when you expanded the land, that it wouldn't give water anymore? I mean, I think it would still give water regardless, but it's actually still outside of the range of our... Um, of our land claim still. All right, so we can't do that. I will have to wait. So give me that water. And you. The corn. It's just fine. Uh, give me that water. How much corn do we need, actually? It's probably the same amount. It's probably 120, huh? So we've got 80. We need 40 more. Uh, 
so it's three water each. Dang. So we need 12 water in there. Split that. Boop. All right, so that should give us enough for a whole new row. Okay, and then let's get... Okay, we'll do... Let's do our experimental crops here first. Uh, so we get our mushrooms going. They're little shorter ones, right? We'll go from short to tall. So mushrooms and strawberries. Boop. They gotta be that far apart. Yep, four wide. These are gonna be health potions. Oh yeah, we need to get chamomile going too. Let's... Got some chamomile? Yeah, we do. Let's see what it takes to plant that. You do realize you'd go crazy. I mean, it's offers what those guys did and more. I mean, there's no tames, though. You don't have to worry about dino tames. <laughs> I don't know, man. It makes me happy. It is pretty absorbing, though. Because this is super simple still. You could do so much more. I love it, man. You could totally immersive. You could totally play house. All right, which one of these is available? Uh, this one. So chamomile takes just water. Okay. Well, let's give it the rest of the water for now. Get those going. Okay, we're planting these. Boop. And we should just be able to make enough mushrooms to do this whole row of mushrooms. Yeah, so we'll just we'll do our planting and then we'll call it a night. Because this is so absorbing, I'm sure, watching me plant my little grid. But they snap, which is amazing. Ah, so much better than Valheim. Snapping is at least. Okay, and then the corn's too tall here, so let's harvest this. And then next we'll put the, start the strawberries. Yeah, eventually we're going to get it so both these sides are full of crops. Ooh, it's showing some stuff over there. We'll pop in. Oh, my backpack's full. Um, which one of these was corn? I don't remember. All right, I'm just going to put the corn in here. We only have so much water, so it'll be fine. Flax, we have to get flaxing. That's still going. Oh, they got more mushrooms? We do. Yeah, this is this is like Farmville now. <laughs> All right, get this.
But what happens in the village over there, Sir Garwin, is that anything we destroy doesn't regenerate now. So if we change anything within the red line. The red line only goes part way in, though. Full again. Dang. One of these days I'll remember which one I put them in. I think it was at the end, right? Be great if you could make signs. Got this big old backpack now. And I still don't have enough room. I like planting them all. Oh, I picked some up. That's what I did. Oh no, I got spaces now. That's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, that one's ready. That was quick. All right, that's fine. We'll get more of the fill in there. Okay, so this is going to be strawberries. Right? Oh, those are the real strawberries. Boop. Didn't I pick up seedlings? Oh, they're, they're in the other bar. One, two, three, four. I was going to say that when you make a field for each, like, one for corn, one for... I'm doing rows of four for each thing right now. Uh, four wide rows. I think that'll be enough. We'll see. It's too boring to plant a whole field. Of one thing. This makes it a bit more finite. And we got a lot of different crops to do. So we'll see if... Uh, we'll start with this amount of each and see if that's sustainable for our needs. Right now, water is the limiter for me being able to make more of each. Okay. Then who's next? Who's the next tallest? Probably the flax, right? Uh, for now, let's just do the flax. And it's pretty. And then I'm betting the sugar cane's gonna be bigger than the flax, right? We don't have much of it yet. Let's just start it. Oh, maybe the corn's going to need to go there. Or else, uh, do I have corn seedlings on me? I do. Maybe we'll start with a two wide row of sugar cane. Boop. One, two, three, four. That's four. All right, we'll do a three wide row of sugar cane. Is that right? Like that? Are there gonna be animals in here? I don't know if we have animal husbandry or not. I know we get uh, bees. I don't know about that. I'm still learning what's in here. I just recently became aware that we even had crops. <laughs> if we could grow this stuff. Little by little, baby steps. Uh, but our area of land is huge right now. Oh, it's getting dark again. Oh, I don't know, probably. I mean, it's early access. Sleeping with my ghost image of my corn. And yeah, this is um, alternated with uh, the adventuring, going out there and fighting stuff. It's a huge map. 
So far in four days of playing, we've gone open up that much and it's this big. <laughs> Can't even go over to the other side of it yet. So yeah, lots to do. And here's our little home right down here. Home level four. Is this where the crucible is, I wonder? What's my journal? Fireplace for the farmer. Let's set that as the active quest. Where is she? It's that one. I think, yep. That's the more north you get, the harder it gets. We're getting our butt kicked up here. We kick butt down here. All right, let's finish planting. Be done for the night. Yeah, then we got the whole other field over there. But yeah, once we get her pot for her fireplace, uh, we'll be able to do more recipes. And food works the same as it did in Valheim, where you don't have to eat, you don't starve, but food are buffs, basically. That one's wrong. Another reason you asked about Beastmaster is I think it would give taming. Nope, no taming yet. Right now, it just... Uh, keeps animals from attacking you and at a certain point they actually fight on your side uh but if we don't fight the animals that would just we'd have less meat less bones and less xp so don't really want that right now so we need to eat them all right that's how much corn i have Keep going with the flax. It's gonna look so sweet with all these growing. Hopefully we can take turns with the farming. Uh, this is fun right now because <laughs> it's a novelty, but uh, this could get old. Certain point that we'll have enough and we'll just be able to leave the uh, field going. This farm soil is very slurpy. Let me walk on it. I've had raw sugar cane, yeah. I used to live in Hawaii actually for seven months. Uh, actually, actually can grow it here too. The Bay Area is uh, warm enough to do it. It gets a little beat up in the winter time, but we don't freeze much. But yeah, they haven't really put out a roadmap saying what they're going to add and what not. It's uh, very up in the air. Uh, they're definitely going to add more of the map. Because the whole map is not filled in yet. And they're going to add more features. More building. More gear. More stuff. And uh, more decoration, too. There's quite a bit of decoration already, too. I haven't even really got into that yet. And the decoration has function. It gives you comfort. Which gives you more stamina for longer out in the world. Pet, I would be be the dog, the wolf. Yeah. All right, there is our flax. Got our rose of stuff going. Anything else ready for us? Uh, 
this we'll take and put it in the spinner. Oh, wait, shoot, I just messed it up. <laughs> um, I need nine more flex. Oh, we need a better splitter. We do. All right, there we go, nine. It's actually gonna be more than we need, but that's fine. Um, okay, and then we'll put that back together. And uh, let's see one more time if there's more water. Yet. I don't know how fast it regenerates. So yeah, if I pull out my hammer, you can see that the line of our land claim goes this far. The well is actually technically outside of it. Oh, there is more. Okay, it regenerates pretty quickly. And let's just see if there's any other seedlings we can plant or get going. And then we'll call that a pretty good night. We got a farmer's house. We got the blacksmith's house, we got a farm, we got a layout for where the other buildings are going to go. But Raleigh's got a hole in the rock. <laughs> and we went and got the crucible for the forge for the copper. I should get that going again, too. All right, we got our flax going. Oh, we got more strawberry seedlings. Nice. Um, I don't know how much more we need for the strawberry seedlings. Let's just throw that in there. It's one to one with the water, so let's just throw more strawberries in there too. Get those going. And then this the seedlings. Uh, let's see if there's any more mushrooms and bone meal downstairs real quick. Oh yeah, let's get the copper. I'm gonna run out of space. Copper, 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 charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. Uh, this whole thing is gonna go move upstairs. Oh yeah, mushrooms and bone meal. These got cooked, so those aren't gonna work. Yeah, so we're gonna need to do the other ones. Grab some bone meal though. Bag of it there. So yeah, each of these guys has to get a house. Alchemist, carpenter, hunter. Two of them just moved upstairs. They don't have to, but that's just fun for us. All right, so the copper boop, and the charcoal. All right, we get those going. I should probably get more charcoal going too. I'll put the dirt in there. Let's need more wood logs. Put those in there. Well, we got plenty of charcoal, really. What are we making here? The metal. Yeah, we need more metal. That's the hard part, is getting the metal. Oh, look at that. All those mushrooms are ready. Right, which one did I have the mushrooms in? This one. Boop, boop, boop. More seedlings. So to finish this row out, let's pick some. We'll put those in here. Uh, this gives us five.
You have to catch up. Had to leave early because of needed charging. You can't put your phone on the charger and watch at the same time. That's what I do. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's put some more mushrooms in here just to make sure we have enough. I'll leave some just so people get the idea that this is where they go. I'm not going to do the math. I'm just going to throw those in there. I only got... Oh, that's 11. Okay. Let's see what that gives us. And I can plant these ones. So I think the harvesting is one for one, but the seedlings are where you get the multiplication. And I've got these strawberries. I wonder if you're going to be able to just keep picking the strawberries or you got to keep making seedlings. We will find out. Real life, you could just keep picking them. Okay. And is that it? That was the mushrooms. Oh yeah, the chamomile's coming. Oh, let's just start that so people see that. And this one. Oh yeah, we needed more corn. Almost done. For the night. This is a work in progress. Oh, and that sugar cane. Might be ready. Not all the time I have to use Google Assistant to type. I mean, your phone should be fully functional while it charges. Just gotta stick the cord in it. Oh yeah, these are ready. Look at that. Beautiful. That was quick. Well, I guess we'll do chamomile here. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Well, the chamomile fits four. Nice. And then let's get these multiplied. This was in the last one, right? No, that was corn. I need signs. Okay, that's making that, um, is one of these available? Strawberries. I guess I need one more of these, huh? Well, dang it. Uh, I mean, we can make another, right? What do we need? The seed bed, wood logs, metal scraps, and farm soil. We had there's more farm soil downstairs. Wood logs, metal scraps, and farm soil, which I could have got. First place, right? One of these. Boop. It's looking so nice. This game is beautiful. Let's make two. Put him here. Boop and boop. All right, sugar cane needs a 
Uh, water and farm soil. Okay. So we'll put the rest of that farm soil in. And then we... Are we out of water? I think we're out of water. Okay. I'll just need to get water before I log off. Okay. Let's put the... Before I forget... Let's put the rest of this flax in here. Um, as soon as we make our magical our magical chests, I won't have to go back and forth anymore to grab stuff. Everything will be available everywhere. Automagically. So that would be awesome. I'm gonna do one more trip for water. See if I can get that sugar cane going. Cord falls out. Hey. Well, I don't want to stop you from taking a break when you want to, Sir Garwin. <laughs> you do you. But I think there would be a way to uh, keep watching while it charges. But that's all you, man. Uh, like, see, someone made holes here. And that is not fixable anymore. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be how it is. Okay, let me put the water in here. Oh, we didn't select it. Okay. That'll make it, that'll get us five times five. That'll get us 25 sugar cane. We're on our way. All right, y'all. Well, you see where this is going. Look at that. This is already going. Already ready. That's the interaction. For sure. But yeah, I am psyched. I am clearly enjoying this game um, but yeah I'm gonna call it there y'all that was six hours and 40 minutes of this so yeah definitely feeling it really enjoying the game and we're gonna keep going I just gotta get over this uh, first week or two of binging it so I can start spacing it out between all the other games I'm playing too but as usual with new games, I just want to play this. Yes, you are welcome for the string and the stream. And yeah, so y'all, if you want to join us, if you're in Iron Mine or Geeks Are, you can already join us, obviously. Um, and if you are not and you want to, you just got to become a patron of Orali and or I. Um, my link and his link are in our descriptions of our videos. That's a nice picture. Let me take this. Boop. And um, if you want a server of your own, uh, we're being sponsored by G Portal. And I've got a link for them down in the description. If you use my link to get a server, you can get 10% off uh, your first purchase, whether it's for three days or for a year. And they're definitely who I would recommend if you want a server for this to play on with your friends. And most of all, thank you for hanging out with me and joining me Well, I play games. It's so much fun playing the games, but having the company while I play them makes it so much better. So yeah, I really appreciate you all coming through for that. And thank you very much for making it to the end of this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.